this always happens. I think I'm gonna score and then I never score. It's not fair. We've traveled a, 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 a hundred miles because we thought we were gonna score. But now it's not gonna happen. Damn it. Hey, buddy, sit down. Shut up, asswipe. I'm sick and tired of this. We're never gonna score. It's just not gonna happen. We're just gonna get old like these people. But they've probably scored. Hey, I'm warning you. Sit down. It's like this chick's a slut. And look at this guy. He's old, but he's probably scored a million times. Oh, yeah. But not us. We're never gonna score. We're never gonna score. We're never gonna All score. All right, that's it, Nut Nuts. <laughs> Well, good weekend chat. Guess what? I've got some fantastic news for us all. I think it's something we can all be super fucking excited for. Guess who's back? David's back. Oh, Davina, I've missed you so much. You disappeared on us. I didn't know where you went, baby, but now you're back. You're back to stay. We've we've got a, a little show programmed to run. David needs our help. He needs our help. We've got we've to gotta do something. We need to step forward to... To help him snag some pussy. Because David's in a tough spot right now. But because our boy is back, you know what that means. Can It can only mean one thing. We have A-U-T. I-S-M. I have A-U-T. I-S-M. Autism. Don't be scared of me. Don't be scared of me. Because we're the same. You and me. I have A-U-T. It's a special time in a special boy's life. Oh, David. I don't know. He just disappeared for a while. I think Mommy might have thrown him out of the house. There was a threat. If he didn't keep his room clean, he was going to have to go. And I think he did go because he went backpacking across the world. He pulled a Tilly Law, decided to hit the road and explore. See what's out there. See what kind of ladies he can lure in. <laughs> and you know the person to best give advice on how to snag some hot bitches. It's Monday, Matt. It was fun hanging out and exploring. We gotta do it again before you leave. That leaves it a little bit open and vague. Uh, you could interpret that a few ways. I mean, what does he mean by hanging out and exploring? Exploring what? What sort of things were Matt and uh, Davina exploring together? I, I have my speculation. Now, I'm not saying that a post-op Davina visited Monday, Matt, at the quarry. And they smashed some boulders together, got hot and sweaty. Dirty, dirty boulder smashing taking place at the quarry. I'm not saying that's what happened, but when I hear, I loved exploring with you, that's, uh, you know, that's maybe the first thing that pops into my mind. I mean, they are a cute couple, don't get me wrong. I could see these two together for, for a long, long time. I see people in chat saying they like that intro. You can thank Odeker for it. He super chatted me last time and finally got around to watching it and it was pretty great. I can't audio edit like that. I don't have that skill and ability, so I let him do it. So little Davina came back and uh, he blessed us with his presence. Now he's a ladies man, I don't know about you, but those MGTOW boys, those incels, they know how to woo a lady. And David wasted no time. Wasted no time coming back and, you know, I guess his experience with Matt maybe confirmed to him that he really did like the ladies, and so that lifestyle was set aside. And he decided to explore explore a future relationship with somebody else, but things didn't turn out so well. Oh, Davina. That's so tragic and sad. Now, what, what do you wager, little David here? What do you wager our little David did? The moment that he met a girl that could tolerate talking to him. I don't know if you're f familiar with the shit rat cycle. Meet a girl freak the girl out, make sure the girl never talks to you again. It doesn't really matter politics or ethnicity. None of that really matters. It's pretty much an all-female thing. But poor little David. Well, he ran into some problems. And, you know, I'm here to help. I think Chad is here to help. We all want to help David score some putang, right? I mean, our boy is desperate for it. So you can imagine my shock when when out of the blue this popped up on Twitter. I'm posting this statement about David Shuret on behalf of Beer reincarnate. Uh-oh. Why would somebody need to have a message posted for them? What could that possibly mean? Well, we're going to have to take a look. We're going to have to read and find out. 
Let me just pull this statement up in full and we can find out what happened with David's love quest. Surely she must have been wooed. They're probably getting married. That would be my guess. I'm having someone else post my statement because I really don't need a bunch of people spamming my mentions. I'm already pissed and hurt, but I feel the need to say something. A while back, David was planning on coming to America and stopping by to visit. Great. Totally cool with that. We've been friends and it's good to hear he's traveling. Later on, a few friends of his told me rather aggressively that he had feelings for me. I like the emphasis on aggressive. How do you aggressively tell somebody something? He's going to fuck you and you're going to like it. <laughs> something he didn't reveal. I ended up talking it out with David. It turned out he was pretty much coming to the States to woo me. I told him the distance factor would make dating impossible as gently as possible. And he was cool with it saying he would also go to other parts of America he wanted to visit. I also told him I would be very busy that week with helping out various family members during a time of distress, <laughs> something that abruptly came up. One of my family members ended up getting sick the day after I met David, and I told him I'd be unable to meet him because of it. The nice guy mask came off to reveal entitlement, claiming I was lying, making excuses, not putting in any effort for him. I have a sick, disabled, dying family member to tend to while I also have to work and do household chores and yard work for various family members. He backpedaled when I called him on it. He DM'd what essentially was a self-invitation to a family member's home. Strange for obvious reasons. He then went on to talk about how he intended to kiss me, despite me making it very clear that a relationship could not happen. Him feeling he was more entitled to my time than my dying great-grandma. The fact he had intentions in the past secret, and he intended to kiss me, despite telling me he was fine with just being friends, led me to believe that I could have ended up in a very uncomfortable situation. I have since blocked him, but I worry about how he might retaliate. He knows sensitive information about people I have feelings for, and have worked with on combating the alt-right. After two years of friendship, I expected better. I was played for a fool by a nice guy. I initially was going to keep this quiet, but after hearing that I'm not the only girl this has happened to, I feel the need to speak out. I initially had a great time with David when I met him, and I will not backtrack on that, but his true colors eventually shine through and left me pissed and brokenhearted over a lost friendship. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you guys remember the last stream we did with David and how you might be a little aggressive. The whole story about the uh, high school friend that was a lesbian <laughs> that he knew for like a decade. He knew a gay girl. He knew a lesbian. And he tried to, he basically tried the same thing on her. Secretly had feelings for her and just waiting for that opportunity. He was going to, he was going to make the gay go away using his cock. Of course, the lesbian friend told him, hey, idiot, I, I like girls, what are you doing? And David was sh sh he was shitter-shattered after that heartbreaking moment. And once again, here we go, plans a trip to America, all under the deception that he was coming here to just travel when he really wanted to woo a girl who's taking care of dying family members. Oh, well, it would be unfair of me, I think, if I didn't let David respond. I mean, clearly he can clear this all up for us, can he? Posted on behalf of Discord Spies, that's David, by the way. Not taking sides, just passing on the message. So let's see what, uh, <laughs> let's see what his message is. Let's, uh, let's hear his side of the story. Oh, 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 where, where are we? Where are we here? Oh, we should be in here somewhere. Uh-oh. Oh, there we are. Hey, it's David here. I didn't want to start shit with karma, so I'll keep this brief. My account got locked, so a friend is posting this. Karma and I had a great time. She told me she wanted to meet me the next night and even tweeted she'd date me if I lived here. Next morning, she told me to delete our selfie, and we couldn't meet for the rest of the entire week. I said it sounded like she was avoiding me, because we had a better time than expected, and maybe it freaked her out. That is some smooth, or that, that's some high-level thinking right there. That's uh, Chad logic. Wow, this girl that I met is uh, trying to avoid me, doesn't want any contact, told me to delete pictures of us together, and then has been ignoring me. 
clearly she wants my dick badly. The only reason that she's the only reason she's blocking me and requesting I never contact her again is because she's afraid of how much she loves me. That's some great detective work there, Davina. She got mad, told me I wasn't entitled to her time, and she had good reasons. I apologized and didn't want to make her feel guilty. So plan B. Went and found something else to do. Had a great time with Jeff and Mems. Still a little drunk. I don't know why she's putting this on the internet. I don't want to hurt her. Everyone just leave her alone. Going back to my hotel tonight and then I'll be flying home. I enjoyed the rest of my holiday with the holidays. They're great people, so in a way, it worked out better. Had fun in America. I'll definitely come here again. Yes, I have a plan. I have a feeling he's planning on coming back once that restraining order falls out of effect. <laughs> when she forgets to update it, he's coming on back over. It's a uh, woo her too electric boogaloo. David's coming for a date. Oh, but that's you know it doesn't even end there. I mean, she decided to release. This is amazing. She decided to release some DMs just to kind of show what the conversation was like between her and uh, between her and David. <laughs> just so people understood what was going on. I'll just read you some from left to right here if you're following along. Uh, no, I'm glad to have met you. Things on my end just got uh, hectic. And you're not going to even leave the house for the rest of the week? My mom's sick. My great-grandmother is dying. Needs help with cleaning and yard work. So we're already going to end up behind. I have to work. I need to watch my brother when my, uh, he gets home. I tried telling you. That I was going to be insanely busy this week on Discord. We had to cancel the carpet change a while back because we had too much yard work, and we were too far behind. Do I need to prove to you that my mom is sick or something? No. I just thought you might make a little more effort. <laughs> oh, this guy is amazing. Hey, bitch. Listen here, slut. Okay, I don't care if grandma's dying and your mom is sick. You need to put in some fucking work in this relationship. <laughs> I thought you would put in more effort. Wow, he's smooth. Fucking regular Casanova over here. I was able to make time Monday night after basically insisting on it. I warned you about how busy I'd be a couple of weeks ago. You told me you'd do other things in America, so I wasn't expecting you to stick around the PNW the entire time. I had a good time, really. But if you're still trying to pursue me, it was never going to work. The distance is too great. I kind of just wanted to kiss you. Just once. <laughs> David, what are you doing? Apparently being told this can never happen over and over doesn't register in your brain. <laughs> you need to put in more effort, you fucking whore. <laughs> David, why? Why would you... Oh, oh, listen... Listen here, lady. All right, you don't know who you're fucking with. I just wanted a kiss. All right, so I'm going to go dig a grave for your great-grandma. <laughs> I'm going to dig one next to it for your sick mother. Then we're going on a date. You listen here, sweetheart. David wants some pussy. David's going to get what David wants. I came to this fucking country from across the ocean. You're going to tell me no? I just want a smooch. Just a kiss a -roo. Just one peck on the cheek. How many people are going to have to die for that to happen, honey? It's a question you're going to need to ask yourself. Just just one kiss, baby. Just one kiss. Come on. Don't be like that. We can make it work. Once your family's dead, we'll have all the time in the world. I can make that happen. Have my friends not told you aggressively enough that I want to fuck you? <laughs> it's a repeat of the lesbian story. It's the exact same thing. David, David finds a woman that has no interest in him. <laughs> like, I just, I, his pickup game's amazing. Hey, fuck your dying family members. My dick needs to get wet. It's, uh, it's right up there with the Lauren Southern wooing attempt. Good morning, Lauren. I've just raped you. Yes! I can go up. David, <laughs> what are you doing? It, I swear to God, this reminds me of something that's up on, uh, that's up on our nice guys. Just just compare and contrast David's reaction to her talking about a dying family member to this and see if there are any similarities that fucking strike you. Hey, call me if you need anything. Please, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Anything at all, even if you just want to talk to. 
Please, just know that all the BS that we've been through, I will never love the way I loved you. Really not in the mood for this. Okay, sorry for being in love with you. Glad you look at me as such a piece of shit when you were in my life. Don't worry, we'll never be, I'll never text you again. Fucking stop or I'm blocking you. My boyfriend just died, don't you get that? Bye. Maybe if I was fucking dead, maybe you would care. Driving home, hope I die you miss me as much. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> David's picking up some, uh, some game tips from the nice guys. I love it. I just I just want one kiss. Just one smooch, bitch. Just one, one kiss a -roo. What are you doing? <laughs> what a fucking spaz. Oh, this guy. This guy is amazing. Okay. David. <laughs> oh, David, David, David. I, you know, I feel bad for him. Listen, our boy needs some... He needs some advice. He needs some pointers on how to get some, some ladies, you know, how to woo the women. I don't think it's working out, you know, threats of aggression and telling them to put in more work when people are dying just isn't, just isn't winning them over like it used to, you know, back in the, the halcyon days of high school. <laughs> David needs to up his game. Luckily, luckily for us, somebody made a documentary just for him. It's a, it's an exceptional piece of art I think is going to help him, uh, help him really Really secure that pussy, if you know what I mean. Now, I think you're going to like the name of it. It's, it kind of gives away a little bit. Uh, but I thought we could watch it. And then compile a list of tips that are going to help David score some uh, some nice ladies. <laughs> uh, the documentary's name is Shy Boys. Amazing, isn't it? And, uh, I, you know, we're going to we're gonna take a look. I need We need to understand, right? We need to, we need to be serious. Take a close look at what it's like to be Davina. So we can help him kind of puzzle out where the problem is. What's what's not working for him at the moment. And I think I think watching this documentary is going to help us do that. <laughs> so that's my plan. Oh, God. This guy is just amazing. How do you do it, David? How do you repeatedly do the same fucking mistake over and over again? It's like he never learns. Did you not? Did you not ever play Far Cry? What is it for? <laughs> the definition of insanity bit. He's just doing it over and over again. Maybe, maybe take some time, be a little introspective, figure out that uh, maybe your game is shit, bro, and it's not working out for you so well. <laughs> she <laughs> fucking family's dying, and you're chastising her. Come on, bitch. <laughs> you know you want it. What the fuck's your problem, lady? David. Oh, you're dumb. All right, let's get this documentary. Let's, you know, let's find out what it's like to be a shy, <laughs> a shy boy. I love the title. Oh, it's just insulting right off the start. That's perfect. I could have called it Forever Alones, Virgins with Rage, The Incel Agenda. They could have called it anything, but they called it Shy Boys. Perfect. Just perfect. Now, I haven't actually watched this. Saw a few clips from it. Somebody recommended it, and uh, I think it I think it fits perfectly with Davina. So we're gonna watch this, and we're gonna try to understand his life better. So uh, here we go, chat. Let me get this set up. That would be the wrong thing, wouldn't it? That didn't work out right. Let's try that again. Oh, well, that's super chat. That's that's a chat. That's not what I want though. There we go. For some reason, it's uh, it's gonna do that. All right. Now I can't read chat, but okay. <laughs> I'll f fucking figure something out, I suppose. Uh, let's uh, let's jump right into it, guys. Let's uh, let's take a look at our shy boys. I think it's gonna happen eventually, and I'm just frustrated that it hasn't happened. I've never kissed a girl, I haven't gotten anything. Losing it at 17 and then going like 10 years before doing it again, I think that's pretty, uh, that's not normal. I didn't know what the term incel meant until I was 20 or 21, but I knew the concept. I mean, you're a guy, you can't get a girl. It's pretty simple. Alright, first thing. We need to recommend this website to David. 
loveshy.com. I think that could be really helpful in his current predicament. Maybe not like the guy at the beginning of the video where he's literally crawling off a ledge in desperation. <laughs> Fuck it, I give up. I haven't seen a girl naked. I just can't take it anymore. I'm checking out. I'm going over the edge. You can't stop me. But I think maybe having a support network would help, Dave. <laughs> so let's let's see what uh, what life is like dealing with love shyness. Like I scammed you into filming me. Like, why would anyone want to film my life? It's so boring. I like to drive around or walk around and just take pictures of like just anything. You know, it's always a good sign. Always off to a good start when you find out the guy that's having women issues, can't find a girlfriend, frustrated about uh, lack of sexual content, just likes to drive around and find open areas of vast wilderness. I just take photographs of it. Not saying he's scouting out grave sites. Not saying that he's going out at midnight with a shovel. Thinking about all the places those bitches are going to get buried. <laughs> They're going to know my vengeance. When the love shies flutter up. Oh, there's going to be hell to pay. Our little wings will beat with the fury of a thousand fucking tsunamis. One thing I'm not a fan of is just going out and meeting new people. I kind of despise that. I don't know about how the term love shy is a good is a great term or anything, but it does describe a specific problem that I think there isn't any other term for. He usually doesn't see very many people coming through here. I don't like see these people, other love shy males in my real life that often. And even if I did, I mean, even if I could relate to their situation, it would be like, then what? What do you have to offer? Advanced. <laughs> this, is incel, this is the advanced incel. Now I'm getting a bit of a David vibe. They've got that same kind of look, like they're just on the cusp of starting HRT. <laughs> they're, right, they're right at the threshold of just giving in completely and being like, if I can't date the woman... I will become the woman. Let's find out if he's got a similar situation to our boy. As of now, nothing. I don't have a job. I am ugly. So my value right now is zero. All right, David, if you're listening right now, if you're watching the stream, pay attention, because this guy's in the exact same situation you are. He's ugly and unemployed. All right, birds of a feather, my, my brother. Now, you need to pay close attention. If his mother throws him out of the house, it's like you two are fucking twins lost at birth, separated. Separated through the eternity. You didn't even know you had a brother out there. <laughs> are you getting that vibe, David? Let's find out. Have you approached many women? Oh, many. And what was the result? Rejection 100% of the time. I would start talking to a girl, and immediately she would give me fuck off signals. She would, you know, pull out her cell phone, just start texting her friends and just hope I would go away. Uh, I don't approach that much anymore because, you know, I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. Wow. <laughs> Do you think God's telling him something? God, if you're sitting in a situation where 3,000 people have rejected your advances, I think maybe it's time to start thinking about how you're approaching people. <laughs> what do you think his pickup line is? I bet you, I bet you he just walks up to a chick just on, you know, random. Doesn't matter where it is. In a park, at a club, at the church, a nice little restaurant. But he just walks up to him because he's watched all those pickup artist videos. So he, he has in his mind the best approach. Walks up to him, pulls his cock out, flops it on the table, and says, it's dinner time. It's dinner time, bitch! And just waves it in their face. Apparently, that doesn't win them over very well. well. At least not if you're packing what he is. Sad. Very sad. How do you, did you count in real life? I'm approximating. Uh, that's not a real word. We're redoing that. <laughs> Ask a question again. I aim as low as possible. 
I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese, you know, I aim for I will fuck a methed out crack whore with no limbs. Alright, you need to understand the situation that I'm living. If there is a senile 80 year old that craps in a diaper and has no caretaker, I will fuck that. <laughs> I will fuck anything. Find me a morbidly obese woman that weighs 900 pounds, whose ass is so fat I need to slap her thigh, her thigh and ride the wave of lard up to her face. I'll hit that. There's nothing that is too ugly, too fat, too disabled, and too, too STD ridden for me to want to put my pecker in. For the bottom of the barrel because, you know, I, I realize that I'm ugly. Pretty boys get women, like your sound guy. And just just you know, turn it to him, he's like, yeah. Turn it to him, you know? <laughs> and see, he gets women because, see, I, I knew the moment I looked at him that he's not incel. I'm jealous. Fuck, I'm uncomfortable just watching this. I've never, I've never had another dude point at me and go, that's a pretty boy. Hey, pretty boy, how are the women treating you? You're such a pretty boy. <laughs> I'm starting to get vibes that maybe, maybe this is the same mindset Davina has. You know, maybe that's where the exploration with Matt came from. Maybe, maybe D David found a pretty boy. I mean, he is, look at that, look at that face. That's kissable. Oh, those jowls. Those jowls and that goiter. <laughs> it's, it's a very pretty boy. I can understand. I think I know what's going on now. All right, this is Genericon. It is, in fact, a generic convention. It's the only time during the year when I can totally geek out and nobody notices. Have either of you heard of Love Shines before this? Actually, I haven't. To be perfectly honest, I had no idea. When I was in high school, I was Excuse me, madam, you must be confused. I'm not a love shy, I'm dressed like Paul Revere, so clearly, I'm neck deep in pussy right now. My friend, on the other hand, <laughs> he's never seen a vagina. At least not since his birth. The most popular guy until the end of the years, and at that point, no girls really were interested in me. In college, I spent two years in a two-year school where nobody really hung out, and by the time I went to the four-year school, everybody had hooked up. And then the job came. I started the same day as a girl that I really wasn't interested in. Three months in. I get the feeling his friend is laughing at his misery. I'm going to back that up just a little bit. Four years school, everybody hooked up. School, I wasn't the most popular. Just, just watch the smile on his face as his friend talks about the despair of being a, a virgin with rage. Did I not go far back enough? I might not have gone far back enough. He gets this very smug look. There we go. There it is. He's loving it. Three months in, I started to get interested in her, and she was interested in me. Except when I got interested in her, she stopped being interested in me. And because of this whole lack of experience in naivete, I spent the next year and a half pining for her, unknowingly. And then after that, I just kind of went with the flow, and whatever happened, happened, so. Oh, we're getting into the forum now. <laughs> uh... It's a place to vent. I mean, it's just a place to socialize with other... Oh, I've got to read this for us. What is love shyness? And are you love shy? What is involuntary celibacy, incel? And are you an incel? Short answer, it's datelessness. It's romantic inexperience and extreme difficulty forming romantic relationships. If you want to cut to the chase and discuss your problems, head over to loveshy.com forum. If you have further questions, we are visiting this, by the way. After this fucking video is done, we're going to go read some uh, conversations between the Love Shy folk. See if we can get some dating tips for uh, David. <laughs> I think it'll be very helpful. Other incels who suffer from the same problem I do. It's a place where, you know, people go put things that are like completely hidden from most other places. There's a lot of negative emotion. <laughs> what the fuck did that say? Croatian government must find me a girlfriend. Oh, this goes back to 2010. There's a lot of negative emotions that you can see there. There's a lot of depression. They are mur <laughs> They are murderers. My government still has not found me a girlfriend. Motherfuckers. I pay taxes. I deserve pussy. And a lot of anger, a lot of hopelessness. Holy shit, how much you want to bet Elliot read this forum?
How much do you want to bet there are quite a few of them that read this? Anyone to feel like they might just snap one day? Painless methods of suicide? I think the general consensus, though, is that... <laughs> God, kill me now! Holy shit! Oh! We ha I hope this still exists. Oh my god, I hope this fucking site still exists. I hope there's a fucking archive of it. The posters who are more controversial don't really fall under the love shy umbrella. Like, they would fall under something called incel. The two terms aren't synonymous. Occasionally you can have a guy that isn't ugly and might not be able to get girls because, you know, he just never approaches. They almost, like, they're the opposite of love shy, where it's like, they approach all kinds of women and always get rejected. There are just so many different personalities on there, and a lot of the times our personalities collide. That's why there's so many flame wars, but <laughs> it's all in good humor most of the time. For a supposed support forum, it tends to sometimes have the opposite effect more than it probably should, I think. Wow, Huda. Who would have thunk putting a bunch of angry virgins together in one centralized area would lead to conflict? <laughs> just, I'm pretty sure, like, have they done psychological experiments with animals that led to this conclusion? Hey, let's take, let's take all those virgins with rage and just stick them in a room together. Just for, like, I don't know, a week. And we'll play porn on a loop on the walls. <laughs> we'll overlay the text, you are a loser. So it just flashes in neon colors, they can't ignore it. It's on every wall and the ceiling. And we'll just watch and see what happens. This is fucking amazing. The forum is home to a third group of men who call themselves pickup artists, uh, PUAs. They often recruit the love shies. This, this sounds like a magical fucking land of opportunity. I mean, even if we can't find pro tips for David... It's just the, just the idea of incels, love shies, and pickup artists all inhabiting one centralized website together. Sounds like it would have been the most amazing thing. PUA is using certain body languages, certain uh, dress uh, fashion senses, and certain words to basically uh, seduce a, a, a woman. How long have you been training as a PUA? Couple months now. Do you want to explain any terminology they have? All right, well, when two, um, when two pickup artists go out into the field looking for women, the term- Term we like to use for that situation is a gay date. <laughs> when two pickup artists go out together looking for women, they don't find any, call that a gay date. It's a secret pickup artist term you might not have heard. You can easily spot a pickup artist and his friend out at the bar with his wingman, chilling about. You'll know it's them, because they're kissing. They're kissing on that gay date. It's a little, uh, a little term for y'all. Terminology used is sarging. You know, if guys are into it just because they want to improve themselves or whatever, and they're using this as their, like, motivation or whatever, I think that's fine. But it's when you get all obsessed with it that I think it gets ridiculous. Every day is a Sarge for me. The way I see it, you gotta be yourself on dates because that's what you're gonna end up with anyways. So, picking up artists, it's all a scam. But how are you gonna know what you want if you don't know who you are? Yeah, fucking listen to Paul Revere. That guy's just... I saw this dude fucking ten bitches at the last convention I went to. They love that hat. Get yourself a triangular hat and dress like you're from the olden times. <laughs> carry around, carry around a, a fucking sheepskin water bottle and just a musket. Women love muskets. Nothing gets a pussy wetter than the smell of black powder. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but it's scientifically proven that if you shoot a musket ball past a woman's head, her pants and panties will drop and hit the floor with a thud. I would say that PUA is analogous to... Get rich quick schemes. You see, with get rich quick schemes, they promise you the moon and the sun. They promise that you can. Take it slower, you know. No, I gotta talk fast. You gotta talk fast. Yes, I have to come off as intelligent as possible. It, this is. <laughs> oh, dude! No, you don't understand, lady. Roll the film again. I need to be smart. All the ladies are watching this, and I need to put my best foot forward. You know, never mind the fact that I just told any potential girlfriend that I've been rejected 3,000 times. <laughs> 3,000 women have said no. 
but we need to reshoot this segment to make sure that they get the best impression of who I am. This is an ego thing with me. But people, people can talk slowly and still be intelligent. No. I believe that a military-style PUA camp should be in, it should be uh, created for these guys that you term as uh, you've used, used the term incels or involuntary celibates. So my plan for PUA. Holy shit! Illustration provided by Urban White Trash. He makes his own PUA comic book. <laughs> is this is this his uh, Mary Sue insert? This is how he imagined himself without the sunglasses on. He suddenly turns blonde. Listen here. Women, women like it when you transform. When you go Super Saiyan, that gets him real wet. All right. <laughs> when I'm on a gay date and I want to impress a lady, I go Super Saiyan. And my Aryan blood, my Saiyan blood attracts them to me. You see that foot in the air? She's loving it. That's that's a Chad grin right there. That's, that's, how, you, that's how you know he's, he's tapping it. May camp would be similar to how they do initiation night at the Citadel. I would have all the uh, incels and love shies all basically huddled in like cattle. I want to read this comic so fucking bad. We're going to find this comic after this fucking video. Into a room. Like these guys would be like standing together like cattle in a cattle pen. And these guys who. <laughs> you know what else I love? I think this video, I don't know when it was released, but the forum has existed since like 2010. And uh, did you notice? Did you notice? This is not like a recent trend. Everybody talking about soy boy faces. Look at this. Like these guys would be like standing together. <laughs> it's perfect. They all have the fucking Nintendo face going on. They all, they're all doing it. This is, this is nearly a decade ago and it they're existed like then. A cow pen. Oh my god, Lambo's coming out next week. And these guys who I'm going to call the drill sergeants would be in there confiscating all their World of Warcraft shit all their Dungeons and Dragons shit, and they'd put it in a big fucking bonfire and burn it. Then, I'd have these pictures of just these beautiful- Look at that slut! Chat, do you want a woman like, look at this lady? That is some primo ass right there. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's, she's suffered a few accidents, I guess. Now, if you look at this hand, there is no, there's no wrist. It just goes from arm to hand. <laughs> there's no there's no transition. And I don't know if there's that armpit hair. There's a woman with a broken left arm and fucking hair coming out. And I think she's permanently stuck in this position. Must have been a tragic car accident. Terrible. Terrible. But she's ready. Mouth is open, ready to receive the gift. Cool. Women in the nude being fucked by these muscular hot bad boys. Alright, again, this is uh this is what this guy thinks about. <laughs> The pickup artist in training draws a comic about dudes fucking sluts, but he sure likes to talk about how muscular and chad like those dudes are. All right, I'm just I'm just saying maybe maybe David's not the only one that went on a journey of exploration with somebody. Maybe uh, maybe urban white trash maybe went down that route too. And have surround sound playing the sounds of women enjoying sex. You know, ah oh, ah, oh, fuck me, baby. <laughs> Come on! Oh, I need to clip this. Let's just go back. I, I, <laughs> this is some fucking good, uh, good acting. He should be a voice actor. I am the sounds of women. Call up Funimation. Sex, you know. Ah, oh, ah! Oh, fuck me, baby! Fuck me, baby! And I'd have neon lights flashing the words. It's all so adorable, but you can't have it. They would break these incels down. You know, just like the military. <laughs> Kiss my fucking shoes, nerd. <laughs> this is the pussy posse. We slay sluts up here. Get on your fucking knees, World of Warcraft dork. And thank us for letting you watch how to woo a woman. <laughs> you fucking soy boy, get down there. Kiss my fucking... I don't, I don't even know what kind of shoes these are. Clearly made by a handicapped man. Two blue stripes, one blue stripe. Somebody's not keeping up quality control. Military, break down an incel, build up a PUA. You know, that's what we gotta do. I believe there's four types of males in this world. Alphas, betas, gammas, and omegas. Now, omega males are the lowest kind of males um, there are. Omegas are what I would call genetic garbage. 
this dude talks an awful lot of shit for a pickup artist in training. Not even a pickup artist. Just in training. Still going on those gay dates. Drawing, drawing comic books of uh, Chad slaying pussy. You play the Omega. Which no, is the little no, no, brother, no, no, basically. No, no, no. Not the little brother. The legitimate. Well, that's what I aim for. The, the, the guy everybody makes fun of is the Joker. That, the Joker of the group, if you will. Can you explain Omega? <laughs> um, do you understand the Greek alphabet? Yes. Okay. Omega is the last. I tried to explain to him uh, using the... It's... <laughs> It's, a, it's it's stereotypical. Like this guy's voice and his look is so stereotypical. It'd be like if they, it'd be like if somebody did a documentary called Black People. <laughs> it was a dude dribbling a basketball and eating a bucket of chicken. He's like, that's right. <laughs> Do you understand the Greek guy? <laughs> this poor son of a bitch. Wolfpack analogy. Uh, alpha and beta are usually the um, two dominant uh, wolves. And then um, in most wolf packs, there's really. Omega, which is usually the last to feed, um, uh, the last to get mates, Steve, last for other stuff. Everyone. And we all take our turns down at the bottom. So. But you tend to. Uh, did, you, did you notice? There is always one. Even in a group, even in a group of a dudes who've got voices like that and dress like Paul Revere. There will always be at least one fat chick, <laughs> one fat girl, who's like, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> I'm so desperate for some dick, I will even tolerate these gentlemen. I'll take our turns down at the bottom, so. But you tend to stay there. I know, and I have to learn to gain more confidence around you guys and to try to build my... Not, not just us, in oh, general. Drop, yeah. This is a life skill. Going back to the pack end. Sucker and succotash. Fucking Sylvester the Cat here. Giving us the deepest lore on omegas and incels. Animal analogy, the mates will see that too. Dude, if you got a voice like that, you shouldn't be using terms like mates. <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be talking like that. It's just, it compounds on the problem. It's just, it compounds on the problems you're already obviously suffering from. It's always interesting to meet people in real life that you only know from the internet. You just want to see how it translates in real life. Oh, they got invited on a gay date. Something he will never ever need in his life. I've already needed one. Yeah, well, back in nine, that. back in the during the Clinton administration. Look, I if, if I I needed one. Uh, you know, advanced, eight months I, ago, okay? Your Jew, I, I just didn't have one, and I was too lazy to go get one. If you don't, uh, and somebody, also, what? I did have chances in college while uh, Bush was president, but I just it was too much of a voice. Well, that's the internet for you. Here we are, five friends who met from the internet. Except for Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> they keep talking about that cameraman. If you notice the bitter fucking resentment they have towards poor Kyle, the sound guy or cameraman, whatever the fuck he is, the <laughs> one dude calls him pretty boy, and pickup artist is like, yeah, except for fucking Kyle and his perfect hair, and his beautiful teeth, and his chiseled abs. Fucking Kyle. Kyle, would you like to go on a gay date with me? Will you be my wingman, Kyle? Well, there are several do's and don'ts about getting laid in a nightclub. I'll list them out for you. Here are the do's. Do, do not show up with us. That's number one on the do list. Number two on the do list. <laughs> well, no, that's it. That's the do list. Just do not. Do not show up with us. I know that you would think that'd be under the do not segment, but it's very imperative you understand this. Do not go on a gay date with me. There's no quicker way to make women walk out of the bar. Be attractive. Be hot. Be good looking. Be much. Wow. Yeah. That's uh. That's gonna work out for everybody. Hey. Be attractive, hot, and good looking. <laughs> What's your problem, pussy? Can't get a date. You just need to be really fucking hot. <laughs> I don't know if that advice is gonna really resonate with the World of Warcraft role players that you're hanging out with right now. Who've got, who've got horrible voices, who are obese and overweight, who dress like Paul Revere, and who have. Acne that extends to their back. They've got backne. 
I don't know if just telling him, hey, be hot is going to really work. Well, except for Kyle. Perfect, sexy Kyle. Muscular. Basically, I can tell you're in cell by looking at you. Pale. I think being pale is a big sign of it. Don't. These are the don'ts. Don't be unattractive. Don't be average looking. Don't have pale skin. Because that also gives off the creepy serial killer vibe, you know? I don't know where you... Yeah, dude. Okay, you don't have enough of a tan. If you don't have a really rockin' tan, women are going to think you're a serial killer. All right? What you need to do is draw comics. <laughs> you need to draw comics of chicks getting fucked by alpha chats. That's what tells a woman you're mentally stable. Show it to her when you bring her to your apartment. Tell her you've got a surprise. And then pull out your hand-drawn comics of cartoon characters fucking bitches. And make sure to do the voiceovers. They really love that. When you do the, the moaning, Oh, Sugoi! You really want to get that voice high pitch, okay? You've got a method acting. Just imagine yourself spread eagle before a chad. Just, just let it permeate you when you're trying to impress a lady. Just, oh, Sugoi! Oh, Nietzsche! That's really got to get in that mindset. That's what the bitches love. Okay, pale boy? Hand-drawn <laughs> hand comic books. Yep, well, if you follow those rules, you're pretty much gu guaranteed a free lay every time you walk into the club. It's all in your control. Learn how to sleep and hit the weights. And wear clothes like Kyle. Listen to this music, guys. He, he did it again. What the fuck is the issue with Kyle? Why do they all keep focusing on the poor motherfucker working the boom mic? You need to dress sexy. Wear something, wear something good. Hit the weights like Kyle over there. Take a look at Kyle and imagine him naked. That's what you want to look like. What is this music? It's just beautiful music. I listen to it when I draw my comic books. It, it helps relax me and put me in my alpha chat mindset. I love that they're playing this fucking music. It sounds like a nature documentary. He was okay. Jeez, no wonder. Maybe he's got like distorted vision. What, my vision? Yeah, you just see every chick as being fat. Oh, okay. This part was not a Look what Kyle's wearing. He's got this polo on it. That's the fucking ninth time these dudes keep focusing on fucking Kyle. Fitting. He's got nice jeans on. He's got flat bottom sneakers with the Nike check. He's got this nice jacket here. How uncomfortable is poor Kyle right now? You know, he's probably reconsidering the mutton chop look. He's probably like, shit. Is that giving off a gay vibe? Is that what's going on here? These guys keep scoping me out. They keep complimenting my hair and my teeth and my body and my clothes and my confidence and my voice and my personality. Every, every time I try to go take a pee, one of them accidentally opens the bathroom door. Am I putting the vibe out? <laughs> are these guys getting confused? Your clothes are just off. When some guys are like, why can't I get girls? They'll be like, oh, it must be my looks. No, it must be my personality. Looks and personality are not mutually exclusive. In curing one, you cure the other. No, you don't. Okay, you can't do a to-do list and a don't list that is exclusively talking about how physically attractive you are and then try to tell people and convince them that if they have an award-winning personality, they suddenly won't be fat and ugly anymore. <laughs> okay, who are you trying to kid? You were just on a car ride telling people that uh, slightly overweight chicks were chubby fat fucks. <laughs> the same applies to you, bro. Or you could be you could be the sweetest man on earth, but if you weigh six hundred pounds, that's not gonna suddenly make you look like an Adonis. Well hello. It's UWT here and we're in the mall giving Michael a makeover because he's fucking ugly. But not anymore. Once we're done, we'll transform this dud into a stud. Holy shit, do you think this is what Sam Hyde watched for that fucking skit from uh for World Peace? <laughs> Do you think he was copping this dude's uh, whole shtick? Peace out, niggas. <laughs> get get a 33 pair of these. 
the kind of guy who would wear Converse sneakers. Your nickname, only known to us, will be David Duke. That's a sergeant tie, sergeant shirt. The flat bottom soles are in, right, at, uh, right, Scott? Nah, Why? this nigga needs to get some fresh J's. Fresh J's on this nigga. What the hell are fresh J's? Ken shoes are very important. Get the fuck out of the way. And why are shoes important? Turn the camera around. Say it to the camera. Why are shoes important? I don't know. You know the answer. Just what's the answer? What's the first thing a woman notices? Um. It certainly isn't personality, so. It's not the first thing a woman notices. It's shoes. What's the just first say thing? it's shoes. Just, just say Listen, you stupid bitch. I'm the expert here. I've never dated a woman. Just because you have a vagina and tits doesn't mean you understand what a woman thinks. Clearly you're fucking confused. Bright, shiny lights. <laughs> Metal objects like the boom mic above your head. It's like a somebody jiggling keys in front of a cat. It's, it's fucked with your primitive mind. It's the shoes. Just nod your head and say, shoes. The first thing. Dude, you weren't supposed to wear all the items at once. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. What do you think of this? I told him it looks terrible. It's comfortable. Yeah. Alright, get a picture. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, but I don't think <coughs> what I need I'm gonna get from these guys. I, I have a feeling we're going after a different kind of look? No. As I was saying, I have a feeling we are going after a different kind of female. I'm going after a female that has a vagina, whereas you're going after a female named Kyle, who happens to have a penis. So <laughs> I think we have different priorities on our fashion sense. Urban white trash. What we're trying to attract. What kind are you trying to go after? Someone who yeah, will love kind of you, you like, for you? Never answer that. What do you think looks matter? I think personality probably matters more. My looks are the only reason I am in some. I feel like for the most part, being sort of shy and introverted is not attractive. I'm gonna have to disagree with. I'm gonna have to disagree with our long-haired friend. You know, you got a you got a haircut, maybe <laughs> changed up your clothes a little bit. I don't think it's uh, the looks that are prohibiting you from getting a date, buddy. I think it might be your spastic nature. <laughs> You're convinced that if you want to be smart, you have to talk faster. <laughs> just, I would love to, it's, he's probably like the Micro Machine Man when he tries to pick up a woman. Just blurts it all out in one second, she has no idea what the crazy guy is saying. I think looks is 95% face. I feel it's better to be socially able. You know, a chin that's balanced, facial thirds that are balanced. I feel like my life is kind of like a mess. I'm like, I think that my- Okay, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna take a small break here, I've gotta get a drink. I'm enjoying myself. We're obviously going to finish this up, and then, God, I hope that website still exists. I hope that website still exists, chat. Let me pull up the chat. We'll, uh, we'll have a little conversation for a second. Let everybody go take a bathroom break. <laughs> See where things go. Oh, hold on here. Pop out chat. Let's, uh, let's see. I'll ask you, chat, since we're watching this amazing documentary. Which is it? Which, which do you think uh, attracts the ladies more? Do you think it's personality or physical appearance? And follow-up question, chat. What do you think our boy Urban White Trash's uh, chances are of fucking Kyle? All right, I got my fingers crossed. I think it's, they're star-crossed lovers. All right, I think Kyle is, uh, I think he's the one. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I, I think they make an adorable couple. He's just got to make Kyle love him, you know? Uh, just, you know, he just wants one kiss. Just, uh, where is it? Just, uh, just want Kyle. Kyle, I just want one kiss, okay? It's not gay. It's not gay if you kiss me, Kyle. You're so beautiful. You're so fucking beautiful, Kyle. Why won't you kiss me? <laughs> oh, these people. Fantastic. Let's get back to the documentary. We've got so much to explore. Again, I hope, David, if you're watching this, really, you know, these guys speak from the heart. I think if you... <laughs> if you follow their advice, it's going to help you, buddy. All right, because we've learned some valuable shit already. All right, lesson number one, be attractive. All right, that's as simple as that. You want to get a girlfriend, be good looking. Hot fucking advice from the pickup artist community. 
just uh, just be good looking, bro. What the fuck's your issue, nerd? Uh, advice, uh, you know, second piece of advice. Draw comic books of Alpha Chad's fucking bitches. They love it. And voice act it. That, the point number two's got two uh, sub points. So, you know, kind of roll it up into itself. I think uh, we're learning as we go. And obviously, uh, you know, advice number three going forward. Kyle's beautiful. He's so beautiful. God, have you seen Kyle? Have you seen his teeth and his face? Perfect face. God, he's beautiful. Why won't Kyle go out with me? All right. Uh, let us go back and pick up where we pick up where we left off with the pick up artist. See what I did there? I'm so clever. Oh, such a clever boy. You know why? If I was a woman, would I want to date me someone like that? I'm like, no. I'm tall and slender and girls like that, but you know, face is 95% of everything. If you don't have a good face, you're done. Why do you think Advance is so obsessed with his face? Maybe because his face is something that he can't really change. But he can and will change it. Well, with plastic surgery. Yeah, but that's like one of those things that it's like making a film. I want to be a filmmaker, but it, making but a film is such a hassle plastic. that I could always come up with an excuse not to do it. Maybe, maybe it's not so much the face that's the issue for Advance. Maybe, throwing it out here. Maybe it's that he looks like a titless woman when he has his shirt off. <laughs> Maybe he looks like a chick that would be wearing Birkenstocks, walking around a Berkeley college campus, talking about some feminist agenda. I'm pretty sure he's wearing ruby red lipstick, too. I'm putting this out there. His hair is unnaturally long, and it looks like he's wearing blush and <laughs> lipstick. Look at his cheeks. That looks like a shade of pink, an unnatural pink, ruby red lips. Just saying. You look like a titless woman. <laughs> I was like, well, she, he can fix his face. Just get a hammer, you fucking pussy. Get a hammer and go in the bathroom and just just fix that shit. One good swing ought to, ought to do it. But, yeah, I made a couple films too, but... I already got a rhinoplasty, so... I have a Photoshop picture where I shortened my face, I made my cantle tilt positive. I'd like to have my Neanderthal brow grinded down. I'd like a canthoplasty, which is when they lift the corners of the eyes. I might what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> doesn't, he, doesn't even look human. <laughs> what is This looks like a woman. You don't want to be an attractive man. You want to turn yourself into a woman. He's so confused. Oh, they all want to get fucked by Kyle. I decided to get a revision rhinoplasty. Hi, my name's Heather. And I want to be your date, Kyle. <laughs> come on, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Come, come on. Let's just cards on the table. You are a gay man. You are a gay man that wants to be a woman. <laughs> this has nothing to do with getting rejected. You just you just want to put a dress on and look pretty. You can be honest with us. You can be honest with us, bro. I'm going to wear the shirt that Ed doesn't like just to piss him off. After I get cosmetic surgery, I'm going to wear this shirt when I approach women. And I'm going to get their number right in front of your face. Well, how are you going to afford cosmetic surgery? Hopefully I'll get a job someday. Uh, yeah, here's hoping. You know that plastic surgery I want to get? The extensive rhinoplasty and uniplasty, lip job, Botox, cheek extensions, uh, yeah, eye surgeries. You know all that shit that's going to cost like, I don't know, eighty nine, maybe $100,000. You know, one day, hoping, hoping and praying my job at the gas station is going to let me afford that when I'm 60 or 70 years old. Yeah, but you'll be old and ugly by then. I know more about fat chicks than probably anyone on the planet. Like, I can write a book on them. I look at ugly fat chicks and I see how easily they get men, and you know, sometimes that makes me angry. Do you ever resent women? Sometimes I do because of how easy they have it and how hard we have it in comparison. Look at the fucking look he's given Kyle. Alright, come on. Come the fuck on now. 
He's angry at women because they can get guys. And look at the look he's given. He's got that hand on his hip. He's like, yeah, you want this, don't you, Kyle? It can be yours. We can play pretend. I can be your Kanata. Let's just turn the lights off, Kyle. Nobody's got to know. It's all pretend. It's all pretend. Just pretend it's a V sleepover, Kyle. Nobody ever has to know, Kyle. It's our little secret. What makes you an expert on women having never touched a girl, kissed a girl, or had sex with a girl, or been in a relationship with a girl? You don't need experience to know about something. Sometimes when I'm in social circles, there are girls around and I observe them. And that's what I, a lot of what I base my theories on. Sex, I don't think most women like sex. I think it's something that they do just, I don't know, just because, I mean, like the guy wants it, I guess. I don't know. I mean, women don't have a high sex drive. I, I don't know. I think that's that's patently untrue, by the way, Chad. I, <laughs> David, if you're watching this, what that man said is untrue. Women do have sex drives. <laughs> he's, he's got this weird idea of what women are. He thinks of them as like some alien species. <laughs> This is fucking remarkable. I think you have somewhat feminist views, but I mean, that's it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I agree that women are people. No, see? That's bullshit. And if you don't realize that, then you've been brainwashed. Women aren't people, okay? They're holes that have been put here by God for us to relieve ourselves into. Why won't anybody date me? <laughs> it's in my shirt. Women aren't human beings. They exist to cook and suck my dick. Why don't I have a girlfriend again? <laughs> Why am I so lonely? Do you think that women ever have trouble finding love? Nope. What about sex? <laughs> That's even easier. That's like shooting a dead fish in a barrel. <laughs> when you have a machine gun, infinite ammo. If a woman wanted to get sex, she could go to a grocery store and ask any of the male cashiers, and I'm sure they all would, even the married ones, even the Catholic married ones. I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I would. <laughs> this dude is just a. Rem <laughs> I would fucking do anything for a fat bitch. Okay? Alright, I know I said they're not people, but I'll even actually treat her like she's a living, sentient being. I'll pretend, okay? I'll pretend the talking hole has a personality and a soul. A soul like God put into men. If a fat bitch will touch me. Fight in the front lines of the bloodiest battle the world has ever seen and come back with no limbs if it meant that that would guarantee me an ugly fat chick for life. Women are women. Men are men. You're still humans. They're not some special... They're not some thing to be placed on a pedestal. And I'll tell you one thing. Women think the same thing about men sometimes. If you can put yourself in the female perspective, you'll realize that they, uh, at occasion, are just as nervous about finding a mate as you are. Actually, my problem has been I've only been around people who felt like that. Like okay. Most of the friends that I was close to were either married mm -hmm. or had no social... We're not in any dating scenario. Yeah, like but else. I didn't... I fucking love the disgust that Paul Revere has on his face. I don't know who this dude is. I don't know why he's here. We're not in any dating scenario. Where is it? Come on, do the face. Yeah, like, but... There we go. That's the face I'm talking about. Just, he has this look of contempt on his face. Like he, the dude dressed up like he's from the fucking 1700s. Can't stand these people. The <laughs> guy that fucking LARPs all the time. I, I, I don't think they're at a convention. I think they're just hanging out. Just a fucking look of pure hatred in his eyes. I didn't get born married. Right, but I wasn't around people did. when they were... <laughs> yeah, I got born married to her. That was just really weird. <laughs> you must explain the cake. No, we don't Go have to on. talk about the cake. You need to talk about the cake. Come on. It was, the cake. it was a vagina cake. It was, in fact, a vagina cake. And they specifically saved the special portion for me. Uh-huh. And I tried eating this thing, and, I, and it was like, oh, yeah, it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to lick it and everything. It'll be hilarious. And then I go, and I just got red in the face and choked. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm just... You couldn't eat a vagina cake. <laughs> okay? Why? It's it's a fucking cake. It's I mean, it's not an actual vagina. Did they get you a fish-flavored cake? Is that the problem? Did you go down expecting vanilla and come up coughing up catfish instead? <laughs> what was the problem with your vagina cake? I got... 
Incels like soft porn because they've never seen a vagina. The most most of them I've ever seen is like a girl in a bikini. So they're going to end up jerking off to that because that's what they've seen in real life because a vagina and titties because they've never seen those IRL is kind of scary to them. I think there's some projection going on here. You're the one who's afraid of vaginas. Yeah, we saw how you looked at Kyle. Okay, we know what's going on. You're not fooling us. We saw you sniffing his underwear earlier. How do you explain that? When Kyle went to take a shit in the bathroom and he forgot to flush, you stuck your head in the bowl and all we could hear was We know what's up, dude. You're not fooling anybody. Oh wait, you're the one that just reminded me of the threat. I'm terrified of female genitals. I totally forgot about that. I just don't like looking at it. Guys just want to fuck them. They don't want to like look at them. They're like they look like what are you they don't look like meat sockets. Bumping ugly. They're not beautiful. They're not. Do you horrible. like the way dicks look, Sarah? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Let us what? look at pictures of. <laughs> oh God, I can't even look at it. I'm serious. Like I, I Google vaginas see. and I get this fucking picture. I can't even fucking look at it. Okay. Oh uh, come on. I, I, I don't even, this isn't even about shy boys and incels, is it? These are men that are living in the closet and just can't come to terms with the fact that they want to suck a dick. All right, this is a, a meeting of Outlines Anonymous. And all these dudes have been lusting after Kyle. I can't even, vaginas, oh God, get it away from me. I can't even, I can't even look at a pussy, bro. That shit's gross. It doesn't go out like my penis does. Did God, God made a mistake, I think. I don't like looking at them. They're too Most low. Guys probably don't. It's they're just, too low. It's... Yes. What do you mean they're too low? Too I wish they were parallel awesome. with my dick. Sugar magnolia blossoms bloom and the heads all empty and I don't care. Wait, so, so why, my baby why did you yeah. think you were incel before and love shy now? Because I used to be incel and now I'm love shy. But how do you? How, when was like the turning point? When I got muscles and better clothes. Do you think you'd be able to hide? Did you leave those muscles at home? <laughs> when I got muscles, where where are they? I'm looking at you right now. I'm not seeing them. Did you leave them in your suitcase? Are they, did Kyle take them into the bathroom with him? I think you're a virgin when you lose it. Uh, you mean if? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I think I can hide it well. No, actually, I don't know if I can. So Lori starts complaining to me, and she doesn't know I'm a virgin. She's like, I can't believe I had to take his virginity away. I mean, I'm all cool with guys being virgins if it's because of their religious beliefs, but if a guy just can't find someone to have sex with him, that's pretty pathetic. And I mean, that's just the truth of how they feel about it, you know? So do you feel as though you're a good lover? I'm sure I could be. What a fucking mean question to ask a bunch of virgins. Holy shit. I don't know who's making this documentary, but that was cruel. That was that was actually straight up cruel. So hey, tell me, dude, that's never touched a woman. How good are you in bed? <laughs> How good of a lover are you, virgin? If I if I uh had the chance. I know what goes on, I mean the penis enters the vagina, thrust, 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 question mark, question mark, question mark, problem. And then the stork brings the baby. Okay, I took sex ed too. I understand how this works. All right, the man puts his uh, willy whacker and the woman's hoo-ha. And then the bird flies the baby in nine months later. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yo ho, let the winds blow. Just hear the ocean roar. <clears throat> We're sailing to a better land to be and sell no more. Ahoy, we sail the seas. I'll yell out land ho soon. And we'll dock on the shores and unzip our drawers and get some hijabi poon. We the perfect life. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I want to say about that because I don't want to. I don't know if I should get into my fantasies. I'd like to be like a very androgynous Korean guy who has like a stalker girlfriend. We're not. You're not putting that name. You're not right. There was urban white trash who wanted muscles and cash and made jokes about his poos. Yeah, Vegeta. It was Vegeta, right? Of course. Of course, another dude on the incel forum would 
would call himself Vegeta. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, hey, Vegeta. How's it going? How's Bulma doing, buddy? <laughs> Did you put that bitch in her place? Remember, women aren't people. Keep strong, Vegeta. I'm somebody else from the forum. Can you guess who? Let's play a game, Vegeta 2. <laughs> The reason I'm outgoing now is just because you guys already know the worst shit about me that you could possibly find out and use against me. I'm shy around people I'm trying to impress because, you know, for, for me it's just a big game, you know. Just a little nervous about this documentary. I got the 2.30 feeling. <laughs> what are you nervous will happen in the documentary? Uh, you're gonna put it on the news and... <laughs> Nine o'clock news. Investigative Guys, reporter uncovering dens of misogyny. She infiltrated their ranks, exposed one of their most outspoken members under the handle of urban white trash. They say in that Hallelujah song, the one that's like, I heard there was a secret. Yeah, I figured you'd be a fan of that song. I'm not a fan. No, you're not a fan? Oh, okay. oh you're 0 for 2, dude. All right, the first time you talked to a woman in a store and you basically yelled at her because she didn't agree with your stupid assessment that women are mostly interested in men's shoes. And now you're trying to tell her what kind of music she likes and again, you're dead wrong. Just admit that you're gay. All right, there's nothing wrong with it. We'll accept you. Just just be honest and ask Kyle on a date. Okay, well, there's a line that goes, maybe there's a God above, but all I ever learned from love was how to shoot at someone who outdrew you. I don't oh, even know what yeah. that means. But I, re I recognize that. I know that's that's kind of how I feel about everything. I don't think I'll ever run into a duplicate. I'll never run into somebody. Oh, you remind me of Advanced, or you remind me of you know Urban White Trash. They're unique, <laughs> for better or worse, which is not. I don't think it's that common. I think most people. I don't know. Maybe like people are just like too afraid to be like so. I, you know, I, I'm just, I need to do, like, an update like on this. Hold too on. Too afraid to be, like, like, so. These two are gonna fuck. I'm just putting that out there. It's gonna happen. I don't like girls. Their pussies aren't parallel with my penis. They're perpendicular. Don't you know what? Don't you know geometry and algebra? Their pussies are too parallel. <laughs> it's, like, what is this motherfucker's doing trigonometry on some chick's genitals? He wants to be a woman, and he wants to fuck a man. It's a match made in heaven, just admit it, and just be together. <laughs> crazy. The way these two are, they're unafraid to be crazy. So, that's my sad little life. What do you guys think? <laughs>guy it, it he's a normal looking dude he just needs a little bit of confidence that's his only problem the other ones are psychopaths this guy if he just was a little just a tiny bit more confident he could get a date he wouldn't really have that much trouble he's normal looking he's just an average dude <laughs> the other ones one wants to be a woman one's gay like you know they've got their own baggage this guy just a little bit of confidence will do him well and the rest of it just wouldn't matter. I get overwhelmed, and I think I should just quit. And I don't do anything, because I'm like, well, what's the point? So I just say, why even try? What's the motivation? I was thinking, I was thinking I should have jumped off while you were doing the pan. I see it as like, you know, abstract art. That's what art is all about. It's like the ultimate art. Project. I want to end your documentary with my suicide. I've lived the life of a virgin with rage for 28 years now, and it's all come to this.
the culmination of everything, the end point, the summary of my existence, will be me splattering against the pavement below. Film me. Film me if I swan dive to my death. Okay, it's to kill yourself by jumping onto a pavement and splattering yourself, I think. Aren't I cheery? <laughs> If she had fucking said do a backflip to him, chat, I see the suggestions that are scrolling by. If she had fucking told that guy to do a backflip, that probably would have been the bridge too far. <laughs> that would have been the moment that he fucking did it. He would, he would have thrown himself off the roof. Yeah, basically, I just hung around her for a really, really long time. Until <laughs> oh, see, look, our boy made it. David, see, there's hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. He called his ex-girlfriend from high school, and you get a happy ending. She did something. I kissed Mike, and he sat there and didn't do anything, so I ran away, and I felt so rejected because I thought you didn't like me or something, and I felt like I made a total ass of myself. You kissed me for like 15 minutes. I think if I didn't like you, I would have ran off before I don't the 15, 15 minutes. minutes. It was pretty long. So what do you think about um, Mike running a website? Mike what? Running a website. You're running a website? I don't really run it. Oh, God. Wow, this documentary chick is a bitch. <laughs> she asked the virgin, hey, uh, how good are you at sex? And now, now when he finally maybe has a glimmer of hope of not being alone for the rest of his life, by finding his old ex-girlfriend who's a fatty, she opens up, she fucking cock blocks him and says, so what do you think about him uh, running a website dedicated to men that hate women? Uh, you know, virgins with rage. What do you think of that? Yeah, didn't you know Mike over here? He runs a website dedicated to, uh, to how much they hate you. You're not a person, by the way. That was a quote from him earlier. Wait, is this the group that you were telling me about? Yeah, that's where, where, where I met her from, where she posted I didn't know her you message. Ran that. Yeah, I haven't always ran it. Go, Mike. Oh, she wants that dick. <laughs> she, oh, documentary chick, you just got fucked. You've been wrecked. Oh, here, a burning wreckage left on the floor. You tried to block him. You tried to fuck it up, but it didn't work, did it? She didn't even give a shit. She congratulated him for running the website. Oh, Mike is going to be getting some pussy tonight. He keeps prodding me to tell you what the website is like about. The real reason we put the website is because we're all perpetually single <laughs> and frustrated about it. You have girlfriends in college, though. Uh, almost. Well, then you had almost girlfriends in college. Yeah. Really? Why didn't you want to tell me that it was like the single boys? I think as I get older, I get more depressed because I feel like I have less time. And I think, I don't know, I kind of like, I kind of like being this way. I don't, I feel annoyed that I feel like to have like a normal life, I have to like alter. But then what's the alternative? Keep going on the way you are, which doesn't work. I think when you look at the bigger picture though, I think you're pretty, and you have it pretty good. I mean, compared to a lot of other people in this world, you have a really good life. I mean, maybe it's not what you think it should be, but you do. You have a good life. She, she's scoping out her next meal. Where do you see yourself 
than 10 years? That's a scary question. <laughs> I don't know. I've either figured out everything or I haven't, which would be bad if it's the latter. I, just, I mean, I don't think about it because I just assume I'm gonna figure it out. Otherwise, I'd probably have a mental breakdown now. I want it to be as if I never existed. I wish I could do that. I wish I could make make my life so that it never happened. And what if you miss out on meeting your dream girl? So what? You never existed. Why would you care? And even if you do meet her, something bad could happen. She could die, or she could just dump you. So it's like, it's, even if it, it does happen, it's not like... Oh, uh, Mike, you're going a little too emo here. Are you, you should be talking about the nice time you had. Oh, wasn't that aquarium fun? Oh, did you enjoy dinner? I had a great time. We should do a movie sometime. Instead, <laughs> instead you're talking about, I wish I never existed. And what if I meet the perfect girl and she gets hit by a fucking... <laughs> a fucking bus... What if she gets hit by a bus and bleeds out? Just sc screaming on the ground. Nothing I can do. I'm not a fucking doctor. That's how life is. It's misery and pain. Okay? Sumo lady? Alright? Some people just get fucking hit by buses. Not, uh, not really the cheery end of a date I think she was looking for, Mike. Oh, just heartwarming. And we've learned a lot today, David, if you're watching. I think we've really picked some tips up to help you moving forward in your life. I think uh, I think we, we know what the, the advice you need. Be good looking. Try to get a date with Kyle because he's a dreamboat. If you can't find a woman, just remember women aren't people. Uh, they're just holes that can cook. And make sure to tell them that very vocally. If a woman tells you you have it good, remind her that she could get hit by a fucking bus. And life is suffering and pain. They love emo whining. Women really, really dig that. Confidence is, uh, uh, is bullshit. Oh, 2011. Holy shit, this is an old fucking... Uh, <laughs> this is an old one. Oh, where is it? Where is it? David, David Guns. There we go. I just wanted one kiss, bitch. What's your issue? Oh, right, we've... Okay, we're gonna go find this fucking website. I need to find this dude's fucking comic book. We need to go look at this fucking website. Holy shit, I think it still exists. Oh my god, it still fucking exists. Oh no, 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 what the fuck? Okay, hold on, hold on, we got it. <laughs> did they just, did they just shut it down? The issue, okay, everything's gone. Why is everything gone? Do I need to register? No, it says there's 762 users online. But er, I'm going to show you this. Everything is hidden. Why is everything hidden? Okay, this is the website, <clears throat> loveshy.com, this forum, I think. But everything, <laughs> there's only two fucking threads viewable. New members must be registered to see posts. Okay, all right, let's do it. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to register. All right, chat, we're going to do this uh, real time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to register to check it out. Uh, register. To <laughs> register, please tell us when you were born, before 2006 or after. Okay, well, I'm going to go with before. Uh, yep, I agree to the terms, sure. Okay, chat. We're registering an account to take a look at the Love Shies. What uh, What should be my name? What name should I use, chat? Uh, Pussy Slayer? Do you think that's it's too much? Maybe it's a little too, a little too forward? Maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. What I'm, I'm trying to think. Chat, you're going to have to suggest a really amazing username. I've got to blend in. They can't know that... Uh, I'm not one of the love shy bros. Mr. Minecraft? Well, I could do that. Zoomer Jim? That's that's a it's a good one too. Loves Hack 69. <laughs> no, I got it. That was a good suggestion. Somebody recommended Davina Shitrat. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, okay. 
just registering my account yet. Just, <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Okay, well, I need to think of an amazing password. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll leave all that. Reasons for joining. Uh, women are bitches. I think that, that... Women are bitches, I think, is probably the best best reason to give to join. Let's do it. The justification you entered is too short. Oh, fucking pardon me. Women are bitches and aren't human. I can't stand that they try to impersonate us men acting like they need to eat food and drink water to survive. I fucking know the truth. <laughs> Those living holes come from Mars. The government <laughs> doesn't <laughs> the government doesn't want people to know. But I do because my friend works for the CIA. All right, I think that's going to get me in. Let's do this. Okay, what? Okay, why? The justification? Too short? No, it's not too short. How could that be too short? Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to retry this chat. I think we got a little bit of an issue. Try one more time. Oh, I see what the issue was. Choose the picture. Okay. And there we go. All right, I, I think we're in. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why are you doing this? Oh, now it's too long. Get fucked. It's too... <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Or, I, so many technical difficulties. What the fuck? All right. Your account has been created. However, your account must be activated. This could take anywhere from a few hours to a few days. Dude, come on. I'm, I'm kind of fucking disappointed, chat. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, wait, wait. Welcome to... Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> just, just let me in. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, well, chat, we ran into a brick wall. I'm sorry. Account has been created, but I have to wait. We're going to have to wait for a follow-up stream that you can see right there. Uh, <laughs> I gave them, I think, good reasoning for wanting to join. I can't see why they wouldn't let me join. Okay. What was that dude's name? Urban White Trash? Let's see if we can find his comic book. Uh, pickup artist. Comic. Oh, please. If anybody can find Urban White Trash's uh, amazing comic book so we can read it on stream, at the very least, if we could salvage that, send it to my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully, over on Twitter. Uh, we can take a look at uh, his amazing artwork. I think it's something we need to see. Because, uh, you know, I think it rivals Chris Chan, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but we'll find out. Uh, you know, maybe... <sighs> I don't know. Chad, I would say try to sign up for an account yourself. <laughs> maybe maybe we can breathe life into this community and give them some great advice. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh no, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing uh <laughs> I'm not seeing Oh. I'm not seeing uh the comic book. That is sad. That would have been a fucking great way to just kind of kind of end the stream, you know? It would have been good. It would have been a good way to end the stream. I'm sorry, chat. I failed you. I should have been more prepared. I should have signed up for a Love Shy account a week ago. I didn't really think about it. I didn't really put much thought into it. But uh, maybe they'll let David Shitrat come on by. Maybe, maybe they'll let... D or, I'm sorry, Davina. Davina Shitrat come on by and get some advice about uh, how to pick up those slots. All right. Well, I'll give people some time. If you can find that comic book, please, for the love of God, send it to my good friend, Mr. Antibully. All right. Let me go see if somebody was able to find and source this comic for us uh, so we can read the fantastic journey into the Shy Boy forums.
Oh, somebody, somebody might have found it. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> please tell me this is it. Oh, somebody, okay, well, there's some of it. Not all of it, but there is some, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can, we can do this. We can do this. It's up on Facebook. We can do this. All right. Um, no, no. Back. Oh, God, come on. There we go. There we go. And there we go. I'm going to see if I can find a few more. There's only three pages I was able to access, but if we can find more, we'll put more up. Okay, or right, where is it? Oh, somebody does have the images. Okay, all right. I think we're good, guys. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, here we go. All right. This is... Uh, no, I've got that one. Uh, okay, do we have these? Oh, is there only a few pages? That's really disappointing. There should be more to this. All right, I'm piecing it together, Chad. I know it'll just take a moment, but we'll find we'll find this amazing, amazing fucking thing. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we got. How's that? We'll take a look at what we got so far. See if we can find some more in a little bit. Uh, and move that. There we go. We got our first image here. We saw this in the documentary. It's our three or two soy boys. War of Warcraft as pizza's dripping on the ground. No shame. No shame in what he's doing. Another guy with a wizard shirt. And somebody who's played Connect the Dot with their acne. Always a fun game to do when you've got giant boils on your face. Oh, here we here we go. Here we go with the designation of what uh what's up. On the very top, I know it cut off the text a little bit, but we've got an alpha. Alphas, of course, always wear a suit and carry a clipboard. That's how you know they're alpha. They write it down. <laughs> they have a list where they write down how many bitches they fuck. And they carry that list with them everywhere and just drop it on the table for anybody that questions their masculinity. Oh, you don't think I'm an alpha? Read the fucking list, buddy. It's on my clipboard that I carry with me. Uh, right next to him is a beta. Apparently betas eat <laughs> bag lunches and wear... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and wear um, hunting hats. It's how, it's, how, it's how you identify them. Anybody got a brown bag lunch? They are a beta. Uh, below that is a gamma. I guess gamma is slang term for wigger. Uh, a gamma would refer to somebody that uh, really likes rap music and has pony tattoos. It's a weird mix. You might not see that coming, but that's what our gamma does. Smokes blunts and loves My Little Pony. And then finally, you've got the omega who's just so incredibly fat he can never stand up. You can see the little scent trails wafting off of him as the flies circle him, eating pizza, and just he carries around a broken controller, not even attached to anything. He just likes people to know that he is a gamer. Rise up. We live in a fucking society. If you hear that phrase, it's an omega. So to, uh, to summarize, alphas wear suit and keep a clipboard of the women they fuck, betas wear hunting hats and eat baked lunches, gammas love Snoop Dogg, and Omegas want to rise the fuck up. Let's uh, let's take a look at the next. Oh, fantastic. Welcome to Dud to Stud Boot Camp. It's all so adorable, and you can't have it. It's initiation night. Now, you can see our Dud to Stud, who's got uh, just <laughs> an amazing physique. This is how men are built. I'm not sure his, his eye might be next to his earlobe, but it doesn't matter. Look at the muscles. All right, that is a bit strange if he's not looking at you sideways. He has to look at you like a bird. This man is a living owl in human form, telling Fatty to get on in the fucking ground and work out. And here's all the nerd shit getting burned. Throw your fucking cards in the pyre, nerd. We've got Dragon Dung, War of Worldcraft, a couple game controllers, little figurine, fat boy kissing the ground in front of the uh, stud. Speaking of studs, Here's a stud, slaying bitches. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going She's another owl person. Maybe this is actually a sci-fi comic. Trying to tell us that bird-like humans are taking over the world and we're unaware of it. 
Oh, what have we got here? Uh, here's the girl from earlier. Ooh! Uh, hi. And I, this looks like a very Jewish <laughs> stereotype. Sorry, man, but you blew it. Reported. So apparently this comic is trying to tell us that the Jews are keeping men from interacting with women. It looks like the Jew is not letting this white couple be together. I, I think there might be some subtext to what this message is. <laughs> There's a little more going on here than your typical um, than your typical pickup artist shit, isn't there? And of course the cop who's got a pig nose, too busy eating his donut to notice what's taking place in the background. A little more woke than I was expecting, based in red pilled. Oy vey, oy vey chat, what's going on here? <laughs> I didn't realize the pickup artist community uh, was so deeply ingrained in anti-Semitism. Terrible, shameful. Oh, it's like another Showa. What? What are you doing? Can't you can't make a comic book like that? It's terrible. Holy vey. <laughs> uh, oh, let me. Uh, nope, that's not the. There we go. Starcross lovers. Let's keep that up on screen. I really do truly hope there's more to this comic book. <laughs> Those four pages. I, he needs to make it. If Christian can be goaded into making a comic book for like eight years, this guy can too. Uh, people, okay, people are saying you can view the forum. How? How did you do that? Oh, 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 all right, boys. We're in. Did they open it up? What the fuck happened? All right, let me, let me see what's going on here. Wait, so they weren't... They didn't lock it properly? <laughs> what? A uh, chat, we, I, we're going on a journey. All right. I thought it was going to just be super chats till we close out, but looks like they, they, didn't, they didn't lock it properly, and so you're able to go on and actually read this shit. Uh, so here we go. Let me just uh, let's start this out. <laughs> We've got at least three pages of shit to read. So uh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, we're in. We are in, chat. Oh, top secret operatives have found us a back door. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, this is in resources and recovery. Interesting. Let's see, where do we want to go? The incel guide to Latin America? I don't know. Worst age to be a love shy. Maybe, maybe that one? Let's take a look. Let's see, what. Wait, this is all virgin territory. <laughs> well, it's a very meta joke, but we've never been here before, so we don't know what we're going to find. Hey, everyone. I'm 33 and have had a life with a lot of relocations due to my father's job, which is one of the main reasons for my love shyness. I have made good friends at the age of 22 and lost them at the age of 28, and restarted moving around again. Nonetheless, the issue is that most of my friends found a girlfriend while I remained single, and it does hurt. Just like going to marriages and being alone. My question is, especially to the less young love shies. What's the hardest age to be a love shy? My worst period was around 30, when I realized that <clears throat> people were moving on while I remained single. Mid-30s, lots of people saying late 20s, mid-30s. Oh, okay. I, I, I want to find... Can we find the one where the guy wanted the government to give him a girlfriend? Let's see. How does prostitution help? What? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, everyone. I'm an incel and never had a relationship, but I have had sex. I'm wondering, how does going with prostitutes or having regular sex help and being more free in approaching women? Are the two linked or not? Does having sex have the same effect as practicing dating? Thanks for your views. I would imagine it would help love shyness, but not incels. Depends on what you mean help, though. With incels, it might not contribute towards removing the issue itself but could provide symptomatic relief. Yeah, bro. You just need to butt a few or uh, bust a few nuts, okay? Symptomatic relief in a whore. Short answer, yes. Prostitution. When jacking off just won't do. I, I asked two psychologists, and they had different views. One of them said that if I had regular sex, I would remove anxiety about approaching women. The other said that sex is different than approaching women, and if I had good sex regularly... When I end up in a bar or club, I will still be blocked in the approach. Oh, God. 
I uh, this is always the problem. You gotta find like a good one. Have you guys been chasing random Stacys? Oh, oh, what what date is this? From 2017. Gamers rise up. These fucking Stacys. I'm telling you. Okay, I think I found a problem with the guys. Too many of you are chasey Stacers. A Chasey is a female equivalent of a Chad. A typical Stacy is totally normal in every way. Super confident because she has no ability, no difficulty being normal. A typical Stacy listens to whatever music is popular and keeps up with the latest fashion trends instead of creating her own unique style. A typical Stacy, much like a typical Chad, is a normie sheep who only likes normal things. When people talk to one another, they usually talk about stuff they're interested in. This is true for people who are looking for sex, as well as for people looking for friendship. This brings me to love shyness. In my opinion, most love shy men are just talking to the wrong sort of women. When a man is too nervous to talk to a woman, it usually means that he doesn't know what to say. <laughs> Please. Okay, here we go. He's got a sliding scale. Perfect. Imagine a sliding scale of weirdness. Zero on the scale is normie stuff. Ten is for the weirdest of weird shit. Sports is a zero on this scale unless you're into something really weird like curling or lacrosse. You should have no difficulty finding a girl who likes sports. Tell her about your favorite team. Tell her about your favorite sporting memories. Ask her about your favorite team. I took a short break from typing this to check out the other sticky threads. Most of the music that you guys like is actually popular and normal. And then he just goes off into this. Oh, the gaming thread on this site reveals that most people here are into realistic games with a serious tone. I wanted to hear more about fucking Stacy's. If you want to adjust your entire persona... No, no, no. Okay, let's see if we can find the gaming stream. Dress for success. Please tell me there's a picture. Post contained links to advertising videos and has been removed. User has been banned for spamming. Well, apparently the men's warehouse was trying to get some business. I want feminine... Oh, how I got laid. Here we go. There is hope. Oh, this is the dude that was talking about Stacy's, isn't it? Catapult? Where was it? Oh, it's the same guy. Okay. This guy knows what he's talking about. David, listen up. Hello, everybody. I'm new here. I'm a 23-year-old man with Asperger syndrome who has a girlfriend. I popped in because I think I can help you guys. My girlfriend is named Emily. She thinks that I am <clears throat> intelligent, mature, creative, strong-willed, and empathetic. Let's analyze these words. When I was a kid, I read books about dinosaurs a whole lot. <laughs> I also went to university who had taken several courses on topics such as history, philosophy, geology, and psychology. Emily's... Okay, I'm going to skip through. Let's find out what uh, she finds attractive. Emily also says I'm mature. Even though I'm a 23-year-old Aspie who still loves Pokemon, can't drive, still lives with his parents, bites his nails, and is currently unemployed. <laughs> Come on! That sentence is a gold. Oh, she thinks I'm mature. Even though I'm a 23-year-old Aspie who loves Pokemon, can't drive, lives with mom and dad, bites my nails, and is unemployed. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm mature because I know how to keep my emotions under control. I suppose that I learned to control myself when I was a political person. People in the political area naturally learn to stay cool when debates get hot. My older stepbrother watches Adventure Time, <laughs> and he has had more sexual partners than I can count. All right, guys. Hot tip. All right, here's the ranking, all right? Adventure Time, knee-deep in pussy. Directly below that, Pokemon, one or two bitches. If you want more pussy... Stop watching Pokemon. Start watching Adventure Time. One of my best friends is a married man who is older than me and still loves Pokemon. Emily loves My Little Pony. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you have to give up your favorite TV shows and games in order to grow up. People who think that adults can't watch kids' shows are liars. And people who think that an adult can't have an imagination are disgusting bullies. Oh, <laughs> Here's another tip. Don't take it so fast. When I first met Emily, I treated her like a male friend. I suspected that she was attracted to me, but I kept her in the friend zone for a year and a half. That's right. Guys can friend zone girls. I did. About a year and a half ago, 
I started hugging her a bit more. On New Year's Eve of 2013-2014, Emily revealed that she wanted to have sex with me, but I still took it slow. I didn't kiss her on the lips until Valentine's Day, and we didn't have sex until June later that year. Around that time, she told me that she loved me. Success. Here's another thing you guys might want to know. Don't tell women that you have a Love Shy account. Well, that's the first piece of good advice Catapult gave. The site is widely regarded as a hate site. There are many things you should never reveal to a woman. Don't tell her if you're into hardcore pornography. Don't tell her if you're involved with men's rights or the manosphere. If you own a copy of The Alphabet of Manliness, like me, hide it. Another thing, have male friends. And then finally, even if you don't succeed at scoring a chick, then you still have male friends, and that still means something. To this day, I still miss Patrick, even when I'm with Emily. Peace out, homies. I, uh, I, I don't know, you know, let me ask chat. I'm gonna, let me put this off screen for a second. Chat, who gets more pussy? Pokemon or Adventure Time? Do you think he's telling the truth? Do you, do you think the Pokemaniacs can't compete with the, uh, Adventure Time guys? Is that, uh, I don't know if that's on the level. And yes, I, I say, this is the same dude that was talking about Stacy's. Just friend zone that bitch for a year and a half and watch Adventure Time. That's how you get some pussy. How that how that works. A lot of people saying Pokemon pussy, Poke pussy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much women love Adventure Time, but according to uh, Catapult, they they just get super wet over it. Chat seems to disagree. Doesn't uh, believe Catapult's telling the truth. Let's find out how other people re uh, reacted to this. Oh, very depressing. From JJ. I have no girl to friend zone. Oh, yeah, she's my first girlfriend. She says that she's attracted to my personality, not my looks. Oof. Oof. That's a hard one. That's a, it's a bit brutal. I'm going to be honest with you, Catapult. I'm not attracted to your looks. You're fucking hideous. But at least you like Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know how to take that. I don't know how to read that one. Update. I've noticed that there are some female love shies here, too. I might be able to help you out. Listen to this Casanova. He gets a little bit of pussy. Now he's, he's trying to hone in on the love shy women. Too bad it doesn't work out 99% of the time. This is obviously a troll. Why haven't you permanently banned him? <laughs> oh, let's... Uh, oh, next page. Let's take a look at next page. She isn't the sexiest girl out there, but she likes the same nerdy shit that I do. Update. We recently had to break up, but find it... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. 31st of March, 2015. 21st of May, 2015. So that's like a month and a half. He made a thread to brag about getting a girlfriend. And a month and a half later... A month... Oh, no, I'm sorry. July 5th, 2015. So three months later. Update. We recently had to break up, but finding male friends is still my main goal in life. Everything I said about brotherhood is still true. Rip and Pep. Can I get an F in chat for our love shy friend? Chat, can we get an F for Catapult 55? He had such a good good strategy. Friend zone the bitch for a year and a half, and then uh, watch My Little Pony and Pokemon. That's how you get the girls. <sighs> I guess she was a Stacy after all, man. Fucking bitches. Fucking bitches, what are you going to do, bro? Lots of Fs in chat. Real sad. Yep. <laughs> it's fucking tragic. Really sorry it didn't work out. Yeah, I bet they love the fact this dumb asshole got fucking uh, dumped. Coming to our forum, talking about hope at the end of the tunnel. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, uh, there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's. There we are. Back to. Back to this. Good news, bad news. Over contacting a girl, don't do it. Oh, perfect. Let's read this. Take a look at what this guy says. Seriously, I made the mistake when I was younger and was unaware of what to do. Don't make the same mistake. Personally, not sure. I'd go crazy and become very angry if the guy I love refuses to contact me on purpose. I thought it was from personal experience, but no, apparently not. See, I don't think this is the full forum. I don't know. This is like one section of it that somehow got left up. Because we saw the post, and I'm not... 
Oh, no fat porn challenge. Women can be nice. Discuss. Sleep quality. Yeah, this is a this is a lot of uh, how to be happy shit. I will fall in love one day. Delusion and real hope. Gluten and gains, or I'm sorry, gluten and grains. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, OW's guide to prostitutes. Psychiatric help. Uh, two methods that work with dating. If you are serious about improving your... Yeah, this is only like a... It's like a quarantine portion of the forum. I don't know exactly... I know there's more. I'll just put it that way. And I know the good stuff is probably behind the membership wall. And the good stuff is what we want to look at, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, see if somebody sends more links. But at least we heard the plight of Catapult 55. So that's something. Something to do. Uh, from Jinma. Hey Jim, please check out a video called... Unicorn with a Y highlight reel, Ash. It's a video of a nice guy meeting his favorite female Korean streamer. Well, you know what? Let's let's take a look. You know, I, I'm game for it. Let's see if it's any good. Uh, one second, chat. We might have found a <laughs> an example in real life of this shit. I don't know. We'll find out. Unicorn. Okay. Highlight reel, Ash. All right. Let me see what we got here. Oh, this is a long video. Is it just the dude being creepy? I don't know. Oh, God, he's, he's trying to cuddle with her. Okay, we can take a look at some of this. Uh, apparently, a, a fan met a, I, I don't know what this is, a, a YouTuber or an actress or some shit like this. So let, we'll watch a little and see how it goes. Did you see her fucking eyes go wide when he did that? <laughs> That's a real smooth move, buddy. Just watch her face. She's trying to give them signals. You see, she keeps looking at him and looking at them, looking at him, looking at them. You've never had 610 viewers before, I think. No. All because of me. Well, thanks to me. Don't touch. Yeah. Hey, guys. Don't touch girl's face. Oh, this guy. You can't tell me what to do, chat. Oh, fuck. Like today. I don't know if you Why actually don't... spend that much time. It Look at her chat telling her to abort. It doesn't look like you spent that much time on it. What does that mean? No, no, no it means nothing. Uh, just do, no, no, no. Just it? drink your coffee what? and no. But wait. Oh, to my what? defense, um, what is... you said. Oh, ca can I explain? Do you want to just keep talking? <laughs> what was I saying? I'm getting tired again. <laughs> Jeez. Is it how you say it in Japanese? It is not Japanese, it is Korean. Yeah, this dude's like all touchy feely and shit. Like, he just meets some random woman, starts leaning and pinching her face and shit. <laughs> Talking shit to her. I was two hours I mean, I'm not. I Can you, like, just look at me when I'm talking? I feel like you don't even I'm care. Because, I mean, I'm not because he's streaming. Oh, never yeah, mind. For like a couple of minutes, I'm trying to ask okay, okay, you okay, something. Okay, 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 okay. Because I was two hours late, and I know it's completely my fault, but can you, like, please stay one hour after 9 p.m.? I, uh, her look just says it all. So I guess, I, I don't know how this works. Is she... Is she, is she is meeting a fan for an allotted amount of time? I know I was two hours late, but give me more time so I can pinch you. I'm gonna entertain, entertain, fuck, I can't speak. I'm gonna entertain chats in the meantime. Oh. Don't worry, I'm not gonna drop it. Um, uh, may I? 
What the fuck is this dude's issue? You know, uh, like, it is your second time meet, right? What? It is second time. Twice, yeah, right? It's yeah. Second time. Yeah, second time, but you. You bring soju. It is first time. I never meet like you. If you don't want to drink it, no. it's not a problem. I yeah, have a I lot mean, of uses, okay? Yeah, just. just why won't you love me? Stay an extra two hours so I can pinch you. I'm going to sniff your camera because it smells a little bit like you. Uh, do you want to take your shoes off? Let me sniff down there too. Oh, just an extra hour, Yumi-kun. Oh, I want to be Oni-chan, Umi. Oh, Sugoi! Remember, they love that. Sugoi! See, I speak your language. Okay, if you, what? If you sniff like this. I really thank you. No. Send help. The ice cream. The ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Keep go go on. Yeah. And then uh, the burgers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I really appreciate. Yes. It. And then even I'm not drinker, but anyway. Thank you for the soda. Yeah. That, that was so nice. Why didn't you say that when we just met? <laughs> Why did you have to go with? Oh my god, but I don't like burgers. I don't like minty ice cream. And I don't like soju. I just need her. I just Can't you like lie to me for a bit and be yeah, like, I Oh my god, I work. love this. You're so nice to me and I think this dude has like a sn uh, like a scent fetish. This is what you'd call a brap bro. Okay, here's where I'm coming from. He smells the camera, and I'm pretty sure he's sniffing his fingers right now as he's talking to her. Like, he keeps subtly touching her, and then he sniffs his fingers. And I think she knows this is happening. And she doesn't know how to bring it up because it's so fucking awkward. How do you how do you tell somebody about that? Instead of being like, oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. What? I'm just a normal person. Like, same as you. Yeah. But why I have to act like, like that? So that I don't start crying all of a sudden. You just, you, you just make... Me. A jerk? <clears throat> I'm so, so I'm trying my best to. I'm, wait. Yeah, me too. Look, me too. Look, 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 I'm serious. I need me too. So don't just scream at the restaurant. Uh, I'm sorry because uh, I may have said something bad to you. I, I, I need to know more about this. Highlights from the va. Okay, so this is a streamer that met one of her fans. <laughs> How much do you think she's regretting meeting a fan right now? Did you mean clown and joke? I'm trying to apologize you. At least say it's okay. Uh, I accept your apology. All right, let's. Um, how long are you still gonna be free after the stream? Um, here. There? This Twitch rebroadcast is gonna stay there forever. <laughs> and, every, and everyone is gonna surprise. Um, why? Why it's what? My stream. But they love me more. So you wanna stream? <laughs> that's just highly uncomfortable. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I don't know who that is. I guess that's a Twitch chick. I'm not, I'm not familiar with them. I'll be honest with you. Oh, let's see. Somebody, Sean Turner. I know that dude in the video. He was a pussy and penis destroy. He fricked anything with a pulse. How did he go so low? He was in my theater class. You know this dude? You know the guy that was on the stream? Oof. Well, good morning, chat. What a lovely day it is to be alive. Well, for those of us that are living, <laughs> not everybody is that fortunate. I should I should be more serious. It's a it's a serious occasion. We've had we've had another another murder take place on the internet. Another incel annihilator, an ethot exterminator. Oh, it's a dark day indeed. What are the gamer girls going to do? The incels are rising up. The society we live in is crumbling around us. Chat. It's a terrible terrible thing. Now, I first uh, came across this, actually, pretty late last night. I was doing what I normally do, uh, shit posting on biz, 
because why not? Uh, taunting them about Tether. Uh, browse a few different boards. And there was a bunch of news. People saying, oh my god, Brittany Venti's dead. Somebody has murdered Brittany Venti. And there were some pretty graphic photos of a chick with her head pretty much sawed the fuck off. And I will admit, it did look a lot like Brittany Venti. But it turns out, not her at all. So we've got a uh, an action-packed morning today. Full of, uh, I, I don't know, what would you call it? Thought genocide? thought I, I guess? It was an e-extermination, perhaps? Uh, you can come up with a clever name on your own, I'm sure. Hopefully, though, your morning is going much better than hers. Or the incel that tried to make it a murder-suicide and failed at it. Really knocking it out of the ballpark. Nothing nothing like uh, trying to do a murder-suicide and then bitching out when it comes to the suicide part. What a little beta bitch boy. Couldn't even saw his own throat. You got, you got like, there are some very graphic photos. I Now, here's the thing. I mean, we're on DLive, all right? And... These guys knock me off when I make jokes about Chinese lemons. There ain't no way I'm going to be able to show you some chick with her fucking head halfway sawed off. Or the Jay Leno lookalike motherfucker that uh, gouged himself pretty badly. So you'll just have to take my word for it, or you can look it up yourself. There's a trending hashtag right now uh, related to, to our poor little girl. But I thought we could go over the information that's out there and See what we come to, what conclusions we come to. I think it ties up nicely. I was talking about incels and uh, Tinder just over the last couple of days. Uh, there was a guy that ended up uh, allegedly committing suicide after spending $1,300 trying to get some pussy. Could have just spent 200 bucks and gone to the back pages. Got a local hooker. Much easier. But I guess all that rejection from the microtransaction rigged Tinder dating app was too much for him. So he finally had to just call it quits, take his own life, couldn't handle it anymore. And he put up a immigr file, a whole folder, in fact, of all the rejection uh, letters that he got. We'll take a look at that as well, because it sort of relates to this. Now, the basic facts that I know is her name was, I think it's Bianca. I'm not 100% sure what his name is. I'm sure we'll come across it as we look through the hashtag and all the screenshots that are out there of the conversations and evidence that got posted on Discord and other places. But uh, he was infatuated with her. Uh, knew her through Discord, stalked her. Apparently got a hold of her and killed her. And then when it came to killing himself, could not complete the task. Again, a little beta bitch boy. We'll also be taking a look at the incel wiki. Who knew that an incel wiki existed? It does. And more amazingly, it links us to incel forums. Some really, really fucking large incel forums. Like millions of posts big incel forums. You know, I was going to go take a look at, there was a subreddit called Brain Cells. Uh, but <laughs> apparently that got pulled down. I was very, I was very upset about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, this this forum I think will do well. So we've got, we've got a good amount of shit lined up this morning. Uh, I put a bunch of clips, there, well not clips, uh, screen caps together. Take a look at that. Well, let me just make sure I've got this lined up, and then we should be good to go. Oh, I, I tried to organize these as best I can. Chat, you'll have to bear with me as I, I read through them. All right, let's get the screenshots going here. I'll just take a look at them in order. At least the order I found. Now, I had to edit some of this. Some of this is redacted because, again, her fucking head was nearly sawed off. I'd, you know, in the picture, again, uh, it, it, very violent, there's like a little... A little knife next to her. Now, I don't know how he could have used such a tiny, itty-bitty knife to do what he did. I mean, that's that's a lot of fucking rage. If this guy did as much... <laughs> like, it was like he was gutting a deer, all right? I mean, it was, it was pretty fucking deep. So, the thought that he used this... It looks like a nail file. The thought that he used this little baby bitch boy knife to do it, I, I don't know. I think he had, like, a fucking table saw. And he just didn't want to show it in the picture. I mean, this motherfucker went to town. Uh, but I had to uh, I had to make sure that, you know, it was completely redacted. Again, I've got to abide by the Chinese lemon laws that are on DLive. Uh, but we'll, we'll just go through and read some of the conversations regarding this. Uh, when I first came across it, I was a little confused because, well, you'll see why. We'll get to it when we get to it. Uh, this is somebody 
sharing uh, the image. Again, redacted too intense for DLive. Uh, you can find these screen caps yourself. Uh, I found a lot on 4chan. And if you want to see what it's really like, uh, they're out there. They're up on Twitter, too. Uh, sorry, fuckers, you're going to have to find somebody else to orbit. And then they post a picture of her head sawed off. Uh, <laughs> people responding, what the fuck? Um, the date is, this is right as this happened. Uh, apparently, from what I understand, allegedly this was a video. Not just photos, but like there's a video of him doing this. And it's out there somewhere. I don't know who has the video. I don't know where that video is floating around. But kind of like the uh, what is a Christchurch shooter, you know, with the Facebook Live, they, they did something similar with like Instagram Live. I, I don't know. I don't use that social media shit. All you fucking Zoomers. Okay, with all your, your doodads and your hip hop and stuff. All right, Twitter's about, Twitter's about as new as I go. Uh, ZHQ responds, or ZQH responds, uh, the date is from today. The date of the image is from today. The hair length color is the same as hers at the moment. The eyeliner is what she usually puts on. Brown eyes. Reverse image shirt shows nothing. Where did you get that image from? Well, he just he magically pulled it out of his ass, I guess. I don't know. Where would he have gotten that image from? Maybe the psychopath killer, the raging virgin incel, that sawed the chick's fucking head off. Uh, let's go to screen number two here. Uh, now, this is what confused me. I, I, this is was allegedly her discount, uh, Discord account. You could see somebody claiming to be her in Discord saying, Damn, my neck hurts. And then posting a, a, a picture of her head being sawed off. To which people appropriately respond, Ouchie, oh, what the fuck? You should see a doctor. I don't know if a doctor is going to reverse the damage that was done on this particular one. Uh, fairly fucking severe would be uh, the way I would describe it. Now, I, I'm trying to think, how, what order do we want to do this? Because there are a couple of archive threads that really go over this chick's history uh, to give you a little bit more background on who she is, but we'll just work through it. But again, this is allegedly uh, her old username, one of her old usernames, and she's discussing <laughs> things with her sparkling personality. She would be Xanax. I have too many orbiters I can bounce back with twice as fucking hard. You know, you mean jack shit to me. Uh, the person responding, I, I, I'm guessing this is one of the orbiters. Don't do this. I can replace you in a fucking second. Please. You are nothing. You know, you don't mean that. I was cheating on you anyways. Never cared about our relationship. You were always here just as plan B. As a backup when I didn't have anything better to do. I used you. Oof. It's almost... <laughs> It's like somebody dared her. Hey, see how angry you can make incels. I want you to go find dejected men. I want you to go find dejected men. And then I want you to just shit on their hopes and dreams. What's the worst that could happen? Well, apparently getting murdered on live stream would be what the worst that could happen. Getting brutally murdered on live stream would be the answer to that. Again, everything's in allegedly quotes here. I don't know. This, this shit's just getting thrown out there. This could all all be doctored. Uh, but from what I understand, this is a real conversation under her old username. To give you an idea how she treated those around her. Uh, again, more people talking about what's going on, uh, trying to come to the conclusion, is this really honestly happening? Now, once it took to Twitter, <laughs> the fucking takes on Twitter, I tell you, I hate men. I'm tired of them. Uh, taking their angry mental health out on people, especially women. It's fucking sick. Rip, Bianca. You are an angel now and forever. You deserve so much more than this, and I'm sorry your death was exploited this way, said the person posting this on a timeline for retweets and likes. It's okay. It's okay. We understand. I guess this is the check. I don't know. I, I'm guessing this is her. I, and... You know, <laughs> Jim, why aren't you more certain that this these pictures are the woman that's been murdered? Her head was nearly sawed off. So it's really, I, I, I'd have to tilt that head like 70 degrees in the opposite <laughs> direction at a very weird angle. And then there'd need to be a lot more blood to really line it up and be forensic about this. Uh, here's another one. 
Stop bringing up this poor girl's past and mistakes and faults as a way to make her death seem expected, or less important. No child deserves to be murdered, no matter how troubled they were. No one deserves to die like that. Let's go to the next one here. Okay, and, and this is where it comes to. Uh, again, apparently this was live streamed, or at least people were putting out pictures of it as it was happening. Here comes hell, it's redemption, right? And you can read people's reaction to this shit uh, in the comments that were going on in real time. Uh, you really did that shit? What is wrong with you? Someone send me the video. He likes the opposite of the Japanese girl that killed his boyfriend. Live stream your suicide, you fucking piece of shit. You're a fucking asshole. Burn in hell. Does this video even exist? Send me the video if you have it. So I, I, I think this is where the rumors that this was videotaped and live stream started coming from. Where right as the you know initial images were coming out as this guy was posting about the crazy shit that he's doing. Now, this did get news coverage. Uh, let me let me pull this up so I can read this, uh, and I'll I'll see if I can find that video too because there might be a video uh, discussing <laughs> what exactly happened. Uh, allegedly, again, this is somebody posting this uh, related to the Bianca stuff. Everybody was talking about Twitter. I, I believe this is referring to this, but homicide not far from Boilermaker course delays start of race. Woman dead. Man rushed to hospital after alleged domestic call in Utica. A homicide in Utica Sunday morning delayed the start of the Boilermaker wheelchair race and then the Boilermaker 15,000 uh, around 15 minutes. Police confirmed that the incident took place not too far from the course on Post Street, a side street that runs off Culver Avenue right in the uh, first mile of the course. Utica Police Lieutenant Brian Cormato says a woman was pronounced dead and a man was rushed to the hospital in what they are calling a possible domestic incident. The man did have significant cuts and lacerations, according to police. Uh, and that would line up to the pictures I've seen of his neck. Uh, Coromato says the murder weapon was a sharp instrument, but wouldn't elaborate further. Coromato did provide more information regarding the call that came into police around 7 Sunday morning that led police to the crime scene on Post Street. We got a call from one of the parents that was concerned about some things that were occurring in the relationship at that point. At this point, the call uh, was still under investigation, so we have nothing uh, further to release at this point. Cormata wouldn't re uh, elaborate on how police exactly knew where the vehicle was at the end of Post Street. And again, a lot of the shit getting posted, I can't, I can't confirm with you. Uh, this was from a guy on Twitter who was posting this with a bunch of her images and uh, saying this was coverage surrounding what happened. I believe she was murdered in the evening, though. And this is a story from the morning. So take it as you will. I'm just trying to present to you as much information as I can. Uh, this was... <laughs> This was her fucking profile. Uh, Bianca drops knife on the floor seductively. Oh no, winky face. Kicks it towards you. How reckless of me. Lies down in a vulnerable, posi <laughs> vulnerable position. Oh no. It looks like I made a mistake. Uh, you know, it, this, this reminds me very heavily of this fucking quote. <laughs> I'm seeing some fucking parallels here. And, you know, when you compare that to the earlier shit with that one conversation that was allegedly from her, uh, telling the guy, I used you, fuck you, I don't care about you, I cheated on you, you're a joke. And then she's posting shit like, oh, here's the, here's the knife, do something about it. What are you going to do? Are you going to stab me? Quote from man that was stabbed. Uh, now this was, was this the one from the, hold on, let me just double check for a second here. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is allegedly from the family of the guy that did it. Uh, again, <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. Shout out to all the people who target someone's family and blame them for a person's decision. Nothing better than waking up at 4 a.m. to find out your brother killed someone and tried to kill himself. And when you're trying to understand and comprehend how the person you looked up to and taught you so much is responsible for such a horrible act. And people proceed to go out and blame you for what he did. So here I am, stationed in Alaska for military service, wanting nothing more than to wake up and be back home hoping this is some sick, twisted nightmare. Instead, I'm all the way across the country. I'm deeply sorry something like this came from my family, and my heart goes out for the family of the victim. But think about when his little sister and brothers find out what a disgusting thing he's done, and get blamed for it. They're kids. Again, that's allegedly from the brother of the uh, murderer-slash-failed-suicide. 
Uh, and then this was an, another posting uh, talking about information related to what happened. Uh, Bianca's last known location before her death was at a small concert of relatively unknown artists, we believe. This is what Brandon used to track her down. And then proceeded to make the journey to find and kill her. Brandon posted photos of him driving to her location on his Instagram story. Upon arrival, he found Bianca, and we believed he pulled her away from the people at the party and talked to her one last time, before cutting deeply into her throat. He then moved her body from the murder site to his Ford Explorer, took two photos, one for his Instagram story captioning it, I'm sorry, Bianca, and posting another picture in a Discord server, aka a big chat group, with all of Bianca's close friends. A very graphic photo showing Bianca's blood-drained body. After the murder, Brandon committed suicide, or attempted to, but was found by police alive in critical condition. Location unknown. This story is very much incomplete, but these are all of the details that we have, or that we are aware of, right now. So, this motherfucker finds this chick, tracks her down, guts her, moves her to a different location, takes a photo to post on his own Instagram. He must have really fucking hated her. And then takes an even more explicit photo and sends it to her friend's Discord as a trophy picture to announce what he's done. Hey, everybody, take a look at this. I have, I have murdered this woman, and nobody can stop me. I have absolutely nearly decapitated her and there isn't a fucking thing any of you can do about it and then I, I, I guess a little bit of time passes after he posts that image and he tries to kill himself but he fails and you could I mean looking at the image of uh, his throat if, again if this is him uh, which I, I don't have any reason to really doubt I guess um, it's a fairly deep cut but it's not enough to finish him. Uh, he he could have probably cut his wrist. He could have could have done seppuku and gutted himself and spilled his organs out. But he didn't do any of that. It's like he kind of gave a half-hearted effort uh, to slit his own throat and just I guess gave up because it hurt too much. And then the police arrested him, and he's been transported to a hospital. And I'm sure uh, we'll find out more information as the day goes on. Uh, but that is the information that I came across. Now, the girl posted a lot, uh, well, maybe not a lot, but a fairly decent amount on 4chan, on uh, the social board. Uh, she was talked about a good deal on R9K, so <laughs> I guess I guess Hero's going to enjoy the press coming his way. Uh, but it, it's just weird coming across this particular story because just a day or two ago, uh, there was the one about the the guy from Reddit who, I, again, spent $1,300 on fucking Tinder trying to get dates, uh, described himself as an incel, posted on incel websites. Uh, I, I mean, $26 charges over and over again to boost his own ratings. And I, I don't know how this shit works. I guess it's like a microtransaction. It's like the, the mobile gaming of fucking dating. I, I have no idea why anybody would use this shitty service, but apparently he wanted to. He was desperate for some pussy. And after $1,300 and being told that he looked like he had fucking AIDS, uh, he finally gave up. And uh, yeah, again, this is supposedly from him. Uh, this was his final, his final post. It's over. Good fucking bye. I uh, was planning on roping for my birthday, but I'm currently drunk and decided uh, today is the day. Life isn't set out for a death neck. I blame Tinder and Bumble, but ultimately it's my genetics. I've tried so hard over the past few months to improve with absolutely abysmal results. I've gotten as desperate to ask IT. I get a, uh, I'm not sure 100% what IT is. I get told to try harder and that receiving racist messages and comments are a good thing. I get told that receiving insults from women not attracted to me are a good thing. Everyone that has wanted to see me dead, including that 1 p.m. from someone on IT, you win. I spent a shitload of money on Tinder Boost to get a match here and there. Well, women can get matches in minutes for free. I've messaged women. I know only to get ghosted. I've traveled to Asia only to see JBW in person. I can't fucking take it. I can't take it. If there's a hell, this has to be it. This is my last post. Good fucking bye. Now, when I first saw JBW, because I don't know a lot of the incel lo uh, lingo. That's how I got linked to the incel wiki. 
Uh, JBW apparently stands for Just Be White. So what he's saying is he traveled to Asia and found out that if you wanted to get Asian pussy, the easiest way, uh, <laughs> the path of least resistance, was just being a white dude. Didn't really have to put in the effort. If you just showed up and you're a white guy, they throw themselves at you. Which I suppose explains why there's so many angry hapas <laughs> on fucking Reddit bitching about white dudes banging Asian chicks. Because JBW is a thing that lives in their head. Oh, now this guy was Hispanic. I had a couple of pictures he posted. Didn't look like a bad looking guy. Actually looked fairly normal. In fact, I almost think that if this dude had gone out and met women in a more normal environment, aside from slutfinder.com, a.k.a. Tinder, he would have probably done all right. I think his first mistake was spending $1,300 to try to get a date on the most vapid, self-serving website that could possibly exist. You know, somebody broke down uh, statistically, saying, you know, uh, the difference between men and women when it comes to finding a match and uh, the pussy-to-dick ratio. <laughs> they're, they're doing like an economics course on this shit, saying that Tinder's awful, that women have their pick of anybody they want, but men are all just desperately lining. I mean, that's always been that way, hasn't it? Men are just desperately lining up. Trying to get, trying to get some pussy, and this poor son of a bitch threw himself into the lion den of a bunch of twenty-something-year-old uh, white girls that uh, all shit on him, mercilessly shit on him, uh, to the point where I, you know, uh, again allegedly he hung himself, but not before he posted a immigrant folder of all the rejection letters that he got. So I, uh, you know, I think we'll take a look at that. Um, and then we will take a look at the background on Bianca. We'll look at the hashtag and then we'll pop over to the incel wiki. I, I think that's how I'm going to break it down. So let me just, uh, let me grab this guy's, let me grab this guy's, uh, immigrant folder and we will do that. Hold on. Let's check on chat here. How you doing chat? How is your morning going? I see a lot of dancing puddings. I see lots of dancing puddings. Oh, got another, got another diamond here. Let me respond to this one. It looks like the beta uprising is upon us. Apparently it has begun. A ninja -gini. You're making me work hard for the grooming session by making me get this gay-ass app. Uh, you're welcome. Be careful. The Chinese don't like it when you shit-talk this place. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And Hammerhead Shark murdered. Uh, yes, she did have a very... <laughs> How do we put this? A very unique look to her. Uh, she kind of reminds me a little bit of a gecko. Maybe that's just because she's dead. Maybe that's like something the human body does when it dies, but like she's looking left and right at the same time. Like a lizard. It's very weird. I, I don't know. I guess I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead. That's terrible. I already see people. This hashtag shit's already kicking up. What is this called on Twitter? Uh, Rip Bianca already has 11,000 tweets. Uh, you can be prepared. and We'll read through this shit too. Wow, there's a lot of fuck guy stuff in this. They are not. Uh, they are not happy. I will tell you that much. All right. Let me. Let me. Uh, okay. Here we go. Here's the immigrant file that I was looking for. Let me just pull this all up. Put it in a browser, and we'll we'll scroll through it. Okay. I think that should. Hopefully, this pulls it up. Hopefully, I've done this correctly, and things don't go to don't go tits up. We'll find out in a second here, chat. Oh boy. Hey, look, it worked. Oh my God. All right. Welcome to Immigrant. Uh, this is the file he put together called Being an Average His or Looking Hispanic on Tinder, and it was updated July 2019. And these, I guess, are allegedly conversations he had with women on Tinder. So remember, he spent $1,300 for the honor of having these conversations. Talk about buyer's remorse. Holy shit. You at work right now? No, but I'm not available right now. Oh, I just wanted a text. I'm at work, bored, LOL. You free today, though? Nah, hanging with my friends today. That's the nice, hey, fuck off. Oh my god, what genre? It's like trippy electronic music, LOL. Links are to a YouTube. Oh my god, not gonna lie, I just realized something and I'm so annoying. I'm literally moving next weekend. Like, deadass, I'm moving to San Antonio for school. I, that's, that's, you know, I'm gonna have to, let's give some ratings to this. I'm gonna say that's a terrible excuse. Oh my god, do you know what I just realized? My legs are on fire. 
I am literally burning to death right now, and I'm not going to be able to go on a date with you. Oh, it's excruciating. The flesh is just melting off. I'm so silly. How did I not notice that? Well, thanks for the YouTube link. Wait, I don't want AIDS, and you ain't cute. Gotta go, kissy face. Uh, perfect is a response to that one. What's up, Summer? How's your day? Hood. Good. What are you looking for on Tinder? I feel like that's important. <laughs> the response, not you. Perfect. Oh, that is fucking brutal. Yo, you free tomorrow? I'm not working in the cold. Fuck that. Laugh my ass off. I'm going to be busy tomorrow. I'm going to work for a little bit and then go to a party in the evening. Apparently a party he's not invited to. <laughs> Tom Sully? I don't know what the fuck that is. Take the Metro over here. I'll buy you a drink. Not today, really. I got a date today. Really? With who? A guy came over to mine last night. He just left now to change his clothes and we'll come back. White guy? Yeah. Remember, he was talking about JBW. Just be white. Oh, I, that's not even subtle. I mean, she may as well have just said, hey, can't talk right now. I have a penis inside of me. Oh, my God. Hey, thanks for hitting me up on Tinder. But right now, literally, there's a penis sliding in and outside of my body. And I just can't. I can't talk. It's, oh, my God, my legs are on fire. Hi, where are you from? America. You? You You look Indian. Ouch. Yeah, very depressing for me. But whatever. I'll be back in the USA soon. My American friend gets girls so easily, so I thought it would apply to me. Oh, come on. Think about the bright side. You were not born to hook up. Wow. There are still a lot of things worth to be focused. If you really want, you can get to pubs, I think. Or maybe wait until you get back to the U.S. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I think I will. How is that? How is that the bright side? Think about the bright side. You were not born to hook up. Hey, hey, slugger. Let's be positive about this. You look like shit. You are fucking hideous. Here, I'm going to give me a mailing address. I'm going to send you a paper bag so you can walk outside of the house without people vomiting. <laughs> That's what I like to call the silver lining to all of this, you ugly son of a bitch. Women were not uh, not being the, the nicest to this gentleman. Laugh my ass off address or give me the virus. What the fuck? You got to earn it. Uh, sounding suspect already. If you say suspect, I don't fuck with you. Suspicious as fuck. I'm sorry, you drunk or something. This is her bo This is her boyfriend. I just wanted to see what kind of fags were on Tinder. You're not a fag, though. You're cute. Thanks, bro. I bet you're cute, too. This motherfucker spent $1,300 on Tinder and hung himself. And the only positive response he got was, <laughs> was some dude who maybe wanted to suck his dick. That's it. One gay dude. Hey, this is her boyfriend, but you know what? I'd fuck your ass. I will plow that butthole. I will pause the shit out of you. You matched with Hannah. How often do you get Hannah Montana jokes? No, goodbye. <laughs> Shut down. What are you studying? Damn, not even a hey, you're pretty. And that was the end of that conversation. These, the, a lot of these don't last very long. Well, you can just pick and choose when you want to work. Obviously, I got a weird job. That's interesting. What you looking here for? What you looking for on Tinder if you don't mind me asking? Friends, but who knows what could happen? I see. I'm going to be honest. I'm looking for something a little casual at the moment. And if it leads to something more, then that's cool. If that would make me a fuckboy, then MB? Yeah, lol, no thanks. He really doesn't know how to close it. All right? You got to remember. You got to remember ABC, brother. Always be closing. Probably don't throw fuckboy in there. You got, you got your foot in the door, and then you just waved your dick at her and screamed dinner time. All right? You, you, you started out okay, and then you took it a little too far with the fuckboy line. I have worked from 4 to 10 today. I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to a show in an hour or two. You down? 
I would be, but I have to wake up at 6 tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you have fun. Uh, so you're not going to the show tomorrow? I don't have an ID. You don't need it, though. I'll let you know. I might, I might be exhausted. Okay, this, this bitch came up with three separate excuses to say no. I gotta work. I have to be up early. I don't have an ID. And he's, he's begging at this point. Oh, come on, come on, please, please. You don't need an ID. I'll, I'll vouch for you. Hey, Haley, how's Tinder treating you? Pretty okay, you? Just installed at or it after months. You busy tonight? I'm craving a bubble tea, lol. Ha ha ha. Yeah, unfortunately, taking summer classes. So I have a lot of homework. To, you know, I'm going to take a break here just because it's making me sad. Let me ask Chad something. I'll put that back there. Uh, how fucking depressing is this? Uh, we, we're, we're a little over halfway through. Not a single yes, except for the gay boyfriend. Not a single fucking yes. Just the one gay boyfriend comment. Just the, just the one, just the one gay boyfriend comment. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna, can I get it? Can you press D for depressing? Because I don't know how else to fucking explain that. This poor motherfucker spent $1,300 to have all these people tell him, you're ugly, fuck off, no one wants you. We haven't even gotten to the part where they scam him yet. Oh, god damn. Lots of Ds in chat. Absolutely way too many Ds. God, this poor son of a bitch. No wonder he fucking roped himself. All right. Uh, let's go back to the, the fucking modern day depression quest. And uh, read, the, read the rest of these horrific rejections. Uh, Friday, I'll hit you up. Do it. Hey, Emma, you still down or what? I might see a show later, so let me know. Dude, I'm going to be I'm gonna be too dead tonight. Sorry, but I hope you enjoy the show. All good. Why Why even cock tease him? Why, why even say, hey, hit me up? You know you're going to say no. Just say no. Hey, yo, you still down for today? Let me know. I might see a show. Has hot chocolate? Obviously. Well, you should go see that show. I need to study for my exams next week. I'm stressing, but thanks for the offer. All good. <laughs> Here's where it gets fucking mean. You got to read this part first. Uh, right right here. Let me. I just want to make sure that's showing up on stream well enough. Uh, Scam me out of $100 worth of Uber rides. Then sent me this message. Thirsty little boy, buy some pussy. Because nobody's going to fuck you for free. God damn. So he, 1300 bucks is now 1400 bucks. Somebody, I guess, was fucking with him. He said, hey, buy me an Uber ride for $100. <laughs> and then after they go wherever the fuck they're going, tell them basically, get a hooker, you ugly son of a bitch. I have no interest in you. And again, a normal looking guy. A fairly normal looking guy. Hey, what's up? And I mean, it could be better. Just a bunch of horny dudes or what? Yeah, mostly. It's annoying and boring, honestly. Well, what are you looking for on here? Attention. <laughs> it's, oh my God, an honest woman. Attention. And I like people to talk to, so that's cool. I don't know, I kind of go with the flow in you. Looking for some casual fun. If it leads to something more, then that's cool. That cool? To be honest, I have a whole lot of friends with benefits, so I don't think we could do that. God. So she basically says, hey, I like horny people. Yeah, I like fucking around. Oh, with you? No, thanks. No, not interested. Yeah, it's cool. But I'm literally bored, so I'm on this to pass the time. Not looking to go out right now. It's late. All good. You got time tomorrow? We can, <laughs> we can have tacos. What place has good tacos? Uh, Taco Fiesta? I don't know what business this is. Uh, blank Tacos. It's amazing. Ever been? Nope, this is the first time I've heard of it. Best tacos in town. Not even joking. Want to go tomorrow? I'm actually... Can you believe this shit? I'm actually leaving out of town tomorrow. Worst timing ever. And from this picture, this is a fat chick. He's offering free food to a fat woman who has rejected him. And used the same excuse as that previous woman. I, I have to leave the country. Oh my god, I'd love to go on a date with you. 
but witness protection is putting me in a for I'm moving to Czechoslovakia. Oh, darn. So when do you got time for a date? When do I got time? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Ups upside down smiley face. And then he's showing off the boost. 9.9 .9 times the views. Your boost was a success. You got basically 10 times more profile views. Swipe to see who checked you out. <laughs> Zero new likes. Uh, messages, none. No likes, no messages. After spending 1300 fucking dollary dues. Oh, that is brutal as fuck. Oh, god damn, none of them were nice. <laughs> the only the only person that was nice to him was another dude. He actually made a Chad feel so bad for him that he lied and said, maybe I'd fuck you. Think about that. Rejected by hundreds of women. Except for the one guy that probably found out his girlfriend's cheating on him. And felt so bad for this motherfucker. He's like, you know what, dude? I'd fuck you. <laughs> Stay strong, brother. I would stick it up your ass. I mean, I know neither of us are gay. But just, you know, keep on keeping on. All right, from me to you. It's like a bro it's a blood brother thing. Holy shit. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I know that's a, a little bit off topic, but I, again, I think it's fairly related just because of the subject we're talking about, uh, obviously. Uh, let's see here. All right. Let me... Let me grab an archive of the thread, because uh, there's an OP and a thread talking about Bianca. We'll look up a little bit about Bianca, and we'll, we'll go take a look at the hashtag started in her honor. Uh, now, this is an archive thread purporting to be about her uh, from R9K from about a year to a year and a half ago. When was this from? February 2018. And you can see they refer to her by the name... Uh, Oxy, which again matches up with the screen cap we had seen earlier on, uh, where they were calling her Oxy. Uh, but to give you more information about the particular girl that's been had her head chopped off, <laughs> like it again, it's brutal. You can go take a look at it if you want to. Uh, but let's take a look at Bianca Devins, uh, aka uh, Oxy. And this is the information that was posted on R9K. This is up on the uh, Desu archives. This up here we go okay uh, I'll read it for you chat I'll have to cut the screen out a few times so we don't see any naughty images again I got to keep it safe for work new thread because the old one got deleted good that it was archived again they've got another archive thread about this this thread is finding out about information about the mentally deranged and attention whoring fembot Bianca don't delete this thread mods we aren't posting her CP we are doing this thread to help her what we know so far She's 16 years old. Started browsing 4chan at 12 to 13. Mainly browses R9K, Soch, and Fash. She got popular on all three boards due to her constant attention whoring. Has borderline personality disorder. Lost her virginity to a robot called Batchen. After all that, it went downhill and she turned into a whore. Fucked lots of guys for drugs and money. Did camming and sent nudes to tons of people too is very kinky and has rape fantasies. Admitted to having daddy issues. Also got molested, but we don't know if it was by her dad. Made a sex tape with a guy she met on Discord. He shared it with her friends and got visited by the police. This caused huge drama, so she went quiet for a while. She used to only smoke weed, but then started taking harder drugs like heroin. Often makes th suicide threats for attention. She has an unnaturally long neck. And her uh, known alias is uh, Oxy, which is the one we saw before. I guess Ash, Aelsing, and Noxies. And I, they were trying to white knight it. They were trying to save this girl. <laughs> For some reason, R9K was trying to save this chick. And, uh, well, we can see how it turned out. She ended up dead because an incel hunted her, stalked her on the internet, and just fucking went to town on her with a, a knife. And just started slicing her up slicing her up for I don't know what the fuck was going through this guy's head I'm, I'm sure we'll get more information as it comes out uh, let me pull up the hashtag 
let's go see let's go see what's going on with that okay uh, one second chat Let's get this pulled up oh, and if you have any any inside information on our our girl Bianca or on <laughs> on the guy that fucking decided to try to murder suicide some chick and failed at it uh, feel free to link it and I will peruse it potentially put it up on stream for everybody I'll take a look at some of the hashtag stuff and then swing by the incel wiki and then go to the incel forum I actually you know I haven't even checked to see if they're talking about this over there uh, but I suspect they might be but again she was you know it seems to be a known quantity on certain 4chan boards and I'm sure he was as well and so uh, congratulations hero uh, Moot fucks you once again. You're gonna get some uh, headlines off of this one. I'm sure you're gonna fucking love that shit. Who doesn't love it? Okay. I think we're... I think we're good. Let's take a look at this uh, amazing hashtag. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, this is the Rip Bianca. Uh, currently with lots of fucking tweets. She was young and had her whole life ahead of her. Please be careful who you meet online because people are absolutely fucking insane. Give this girl justice. Uh, and then they've got a bunch of pictures of her. She does have a very long neck, too, by the way. I, I guess that's an accurate description. I see Rip Bianca trending. And then when I click and understand what happened, I'm sick to my fucking stomach. Ladies, please be careful. These sick fucks will forever exist. And it's tragic many women have to live in fear that this may happen to them. Just heartbreaking. R.I.P. Bianca was 17. Show some respect and stop posting the pictures of her murdered or her murderer took. It's disgusting. He wasn't her boyfriend. He wasn't her friend. He was obsessed. She deserved a full life, a happy life. It was taken away. Please be respectful. It's five. And I see a psycho murdering a poor girl and post it on Instagram Live just because she wasn't interested in his advances. How entitled can you fucking be? Probably the sickest shit I've seen in a while. Be careful who you talk to online. <laughs> I am a nice guy. Rip, Bianca. Yeah, you can already see where this is going. i make sure we don't. Okay. Honestly, in this day and age, things like this get swept under the rug, never to be looked on, because we've grown to become so numb. Things that we forget or pay no mind to, even though it happens one day ago or a month. I, <laughs> I don't know how these two are related, Cass. I mean, Etika threw himself in the... He threw himself off a fucking bridge. Bianca had her head chopped off. <laughs> like, these are two different things, dude. It's not like a suicide awareness thing you're trying to tell people about here. Etika did a flip into a river. She had her head sawed off. I don't, I don't think she was down with that. I don't, I don't know if she was like, hey. Hey, guys. Could somebody, could somebody drive by and take a fucking axe to my neck? Uh, you know, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Maybe I'm wrong on this, chat. Oh, I'm just... You gotta give me a second to jump around here because I want to make sure we don't have any murder... People are posting the pictures of her her uh, crime scene all over fucking Twitter, so I gotta I gotta just double-check. Lots of Rip Biancas. Uh, I and Miles Chong made a, uh, a Twitter moment about it, talking about it. Uh, what did he say? Uh, she didn't deserve it. No one deserves it. He wasn't her boyfriend. He was stalking her and knew her from Discord. He was obsessive. Girls, please be vigilant. Apparently. Uh, so there you go. I mean, that is the information that's currently on hand. That is that is essentially what's known about what's going on with uh, Bianca. Now, there are pictures of him out there. Oh, with his neck sliced up. There are pictures of her. I, I'm guessing more than one now that we have confirmation that that was from his Instagram account. Uh, probably showing her body in different poses and different degrees of damage. Uh, I, I, I can't share it on DLive, obviously. Uh, you can find it easily if you go to look on threads on 4chan or if you uh, browse around on Twitter or Instagram. People are just reposting it everywhere, so I guess if you're curious, it's out there. Um, you know, actually, let me see if I can find... Maybe there are there more articles about his arrest. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, what was it, Devons? Okay, let's see see what pops up. Up and coming personnel. Okay, let's let's see what this says. Of course, nothing pops up. Uh, Bianca Devons. Uh, this is from Brittany Venti. 
Bianca Devins would uh, some would call an e-girl was killed by some guy on R9K. There's photos of this girl's throat slit open. Women online need to be careful. Based on what I'm reading, she was 17 years old. Oh, more people are posting shit. Uh, here's another summary. Uh, let's see if there's anything different about it. Uh, talks about personality disorder, uh, drugs, and money. Uh, it's unknown how many guys she fucked, but it is at least nine, apparently, from things that were posted. Uh, bragged about sucking an older man's dick for $200 when she was 14. People keep bringing up a sex tape. They keep saying that she had a sex tape. She made a sex tape when she was 16 years old with some guy from Discord, and the police were involved. I, I figure if the police were involved and that was child porn, somebody would have got arrested. There'd ha there'd have to be some kind of a trail related to that. This caused huge drama, so she went quiet for a while. Nope, this is basically the same summary we got on R9K, but it looks like it was posted to Soch. I'm looking for any news coverage of her, if they have, like, an update on what's going on with this fucking guy. Okay, uh, yeah, the guy's name was Brandon Andrew Clark, uh, apparently is his name, according to one news source. Uh, talking about her funeral service, shit like that, but uh, no news articles just yet. I don't know, Chad. Uh, yeah, girls, be careful out there. Uh, well, I, how are they going to be careful? Like, what, what sort of advice? Be careful, obviously. But if you've got a psychopath that's fucking stalking you and is going to go to the length of cutting your goddamn head off, like, what is, what is she supposed to do? She didn't, well, like, uh, how do you, she's not psychic. She's supposed to know that the R9K killer is coming to cut her fucking head off? It's such a weird thing to post under this fucking hash. Be careful. Hey, if somebody swings a, a fucking axe at your neck, uh, dodge out of the way. <laughs> you gotta be quick on your toes, ladies. Be careful. <laughs> what? Everybody's making it sound like this is uh, a psychopath that found her on Discord, stalked her to an event. And like, uh, well, I, how is she going to know that before he does it? I guess I'm slightly confused. You know what might help us? If we go to that incel wiki, maybe they've got some hot advice on how ladies can protect themselves from having their fucking heads cut off. Let's uh, let's load that up. And then we'll go take a look at the, the incel forums. Oh, exciting. All right, so I haven't had it. I didn't get a lot of time to... Uh, dig through the incel wiki, nor did I get a lot of time to really look at the incel forum. But I thought it would be fun to at least look through it. Again, I got linked to it because of the JBW. So I, I you know, we'll take a wonderful journey through this place and see <clears throat> what it has to offer. If it's complete shit, well, <laughs> what, what are you going to do? Uh, let me just load this up. Okay, I think uh, I think we're good to go. All right, welcome to the incel wiki. It's incel inside. JBW, uh, that's what was linked in regards to the poor son of a bitch that hung himself after spending $1,300 to get told he had, looked like he had AIDS. Uh, JBW or JBW is short for Just Be White Theory and describes the fact that any white man can get a girl in Asia or South America. John, did you have any luck on Tinder here? Dave, I get no matches here in the West, boyo. But I'm going to visit Asia soon and run the JBW game on those gooks. It can't fail there. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Here's the contents of this article. Uh, the BBC takeover myth. Uh, <laughs> what, do you want to, what is this? Black Pill 101 Episode 4. BBC takeover myth or... F chat. Chat. Is the big black dick takeover? Is that a myth or not? Do we want to watch this? I don't know if it's I don't know if it's any good or not. Should we should we should we find out about the BBC? Let's, I'm kind of curious now. I'll be honest. Incel T. There's an incel TV. Oh, this is exciting. All right, let's let's take a listen. <laughs> what is this? We choose superior men. And superior men 
are beautiful black kings. And they've been superior since the dawn of motherfucking time. And they are coming and they are spreading their beautiful seed all across Europe. And no matter how hard little pin dick Trump wants to try and keep them out of the United States of America, they're coming here too. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is like some cuck fetish shit. Listen, boys, those big black dicks are coming over by boat. <laughs> no matter how many walls you build, I'm going to tongue fuck a glory hole right through that brick. And those cocks are coming to the land of the free. And they're going to breed all your little white country daughters that have never met a black man before. They're going to literally take over. What is going on, everybody? I wanted to make this video and address this issue from a black pill science standpoint, because I know this is a controversial topic in our community. So I will refrain from talking about my own personal opinions and experiences, as this is going to be an episode based on empirical evidence. In our community, you see a lot of people say things like blacks can't be incel, all they have to do is to go to white suburbs and they're gonna get all the white women worshipping their BBC and stuff. I mean, everybody has their own opinions when it comes to this, but what does black pill science say? Let's see. The first thing I want to talk about is black and white interracial court. Is this, is this guy doing a video looking up science articles about big black dicks? <laughs> what? Why would you, what? What was it? Was it? Who the fuck was it with uh, Naked Ape, right? It was Naked Ape and Kraut on live stream together where they're talking about knockout. <laughs> what was it? Knockout studies on dick sizes? This dude did a six minute video about scientific articles about how hungry, how thirsty white women are for dick. Big black cocks. Amazing. <laughs> this is. Okay, let's. Let's. We have to dig around a little bit. I'm getting excited. What do we... <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, we'll go to the main page. I, I don't think there's anything that's not safe for work. I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Uh, this is their main page. Is that showing up right? Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, incel is an academic sociological term that is short for and means involuntary celibacy, a life circumstance, individual philosophies like the black pill, where subcultures like 4chan culture emerge on some, but not all forums, dedicated to involuntary celibates and go in and out of fashion. Inseldom was first academically recognized as a sociological phenomena by the Donnelly study. The Donnelly study defined incels as all adults who want to have a willing sexual partner of the gender that they are attracted to, but cannot find one for six months or more. Oh, okay, so apparently, Chad, according to the Donnelly study, if you want to get your dick wet and you haven't been able to accomplish that in six months, you are you are scientifically, you know, quote unquote, we're talking sociology here, you are scientifically recognized as an incel. For the purposes of this wiki, an incel is someone who would or who is or would be romantically or sexually rejected by the vast majority of the single members of the gender they are attracted to while approaching at random in spaces socially designated for dating for at least a few years. The current non-niche incel forums are incels.co, Reddit's Brain Cells, Facebook's Incelistan, Incelistan.net, Loveshy.com. We checked that out when we looked at that fucking documentary. Incels Without Hate and Forever Alone. Some inc There's an incel political party? There's an incel political... Should we... Oh, like, you know what? Yes. Let's take a look at the incel political party. Can I pull that up? Oh, there's nothing here. Incel party is the first political party devoted to the incel issue. It was... Oh, my God. It was just created. It was created just two months ago, guys. It includes government seizure of boomer real estate to give to millennials for free and paying femcels and incels to date each other. With incels being paid three times more. God, their political party. They want to steal boomer property and then pay forever loans to fuck each other. That's, hey, you got my vote. Uh, I, I'm going to pull this up just to take a look. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull this. Let's take a look at their website. I just want to make sure there's nothing naughty on there. Here we go. Here's the incel party website. 
let's look at their main planks. Incel Party is a new political party. The Incel Party is a nonviolent political party devoted to helping all people of the inceldom spectrum find a partner. Incel is short for and means involuntary celibacy, a life condition. Incel Party is editable like a wiki. Just click the cog and add your platform planks or pages. Policies. Key policies of the Incel Party include legal government seizure of boomer real estate to give to millennials for free. Pay femcells and incels to date each other. A monthly inflation-adjusted government allowance of $500 for all the poor. Legalize suicide and abolish psychiatry. Combating encelophobia. At the incel party, we will call out encelophobia and bring about a new societal appreciation for all the men that are weak, non-violently. Alright guys, you heard them. Incelparty.win is the name of the website. And they have said they are open for you to put anything. You're welcome to edit this. Just click that cogwheel and you can choose their policies. Now, I think if you're highly motivated to join this amazing political party, I think you could come up with some really amazing fucking <laughs> policy ideas to share with the incel community. Aside from stealing boomer real estate and forcing the government to pay you money and <laughs> legalizing suicide and outlawing psychiatry. I like this. You know, I'm an incel. He's proud. All right. Forget fucking cell phobia. The incel party is here to win. Okay, guys? <laughs> the incel party. Move over, green party. Move, move over, libertarians. The incel party's here, and they're running on the pussy platform. Their planks are their penises. They're looking to get their dicks wet. Nothing's getting in the way. You hear that, boomer? We're taking, we're taking your house, Grandpa. I'm going to sell that shit and fuck some whores. Welcome to the incel party. I don't know who their candidate's going to be. <laughs> who are they going to run? <laughs> That's it. Stefan Molyneux. Stefan Molyneux is going to run as the main candidate for the incel party. I think that should, I think that's, you know what? He would do it. <laughs> he would fucking do it. He's going to defoo, he's going to defoo that property right off those boomer motherfuckers. Oh, incredible. Let me, uh, you know what, again, because I don't know what I'm going to encounter. Let me just, let me go look at the... <laughs> Let me go look around here a little bit. Oh, they're oh they're actually okay. Well, maybe we have more. Okay, see, I could. There's no way I could show that on stream. All right, there's <laughs> there's there's a lot of shit on here. Oh wow, criminal justice reform. They want to release all non-violent drug offenders. Decrease the sentencing of all non-violent offenders to three months or less for any. For any crime. Allow prisoners to continue their non-hallucinogenic drug addictions in jail. But each jail can provide rehab services voluntarily. This is a very specific one. Set a 65 to 73 degree... They're talking about literal temperature. 65 to 73 degree Fahrenheit mandatory indoor temperature ban for all jails. And proven rigorously enforced nutrition standards for food in jail. Far too many prisoners have died from drug withdrawals, hot weather, and poor nutrition. Better stock train an employee uh, or employ preventative and emergency medical personnel for all the inmates. Abolish psychiatry and reckless opioid prescriptions. I, I would show you the page I'm looking at, but there's some <laughs> there's some sexy pictures on here. Oh, here we go. Uh, a monthly government allowance for all the poor. Of $500 a month starting and adjusted for inflation each month. This actually isn't so radical. We already have Social Security income and Social Security disability income. However, this would decouple the safety net from psychiatry. This allows... You know what? They keep bringing up psychiatry. I'm getting the feeling they don't like it very much. Wow. All right. The psychiatry article is enormous. Yeah, I'm going to pull chat here. Okay. We, we got a little bit off the beaten path. I was just going to look at the incel wiki. Should we, do you want to read the psychiatry article on the 
incel party website to find out what their thoughts on psychiatrists are? Or should we go back to the wiki? I'll let you decide, chat. What are, what are we going to do with this shit? Uh, yes, yes, do it. <laughs> Somebody sees the means of reproduction? Yes, comrade. We need to <laughs> we need to seize the vaginas. Holy shit, this is a big fucking article. All right. I got that queued up, guys. We're going to take a look at the psychiatry article. Let me just <laughs> let me just read the rest of this. Uh they they're talking about using the military to seize to seize everything. Oh, millennials get everything for free. Uh Gen X, fuck you. You get nothing. Steal it from grandpa, give it to the grandson, mom and dad, throw yourself off a bridge. You're not getting shit. Oh, there's an incel of phobia article too. Uh, this one looks okay. Let's uh, let's take a look at incel phobia. There's no nudity on this page. All right, here we go. Combating incel phobia. Incel phobia is a form of ableism, usually characterized by hatred, fear, antagonism, or aversion towards true cells, incels, or near cells. Incelophobes sometimes express this antagonism through virgin shaming against true cells. Cacophobia against ugly cells and ableism against disabled cells. Encelophobia is sometimes called incel hatred and overlaps with anti encelidum A person who holds <laughs> Jesus encelophobic beliefs is an encelophobe or an incel hater. Encelophobes justify their encelophobia by suggesting that concepts such as the black pill or the red pill are sexist. But they're silent when women such as Catherine Hackham says practically the exact same thing. The most self-conscious incels when becoming incel toms. <laughs> incel toms? Sometimes parrot encelophobic behaviors. Oh, you fucking incel tom. Vagina lover. Go, go. <laughs> oh, okay. Combating encelophobic narratives. We at the incel party will give pride to recovering incels. The first step is acceptance. We want to let most men know that they have been incel at some point in their lives and that it's okay to come out as an incel. We will hold non-violent coming out events such as asking people to take pictures of themselves <laughs> holding up a sign saying coming out as an involuntary celibate. Financial in celibates and other singletons are sometimes discriminated against financially. In the UK, research by the Good Housekeeping Institute estimates that singletons pay $2,000 or I'm sorry, 2,000 pounds more per year than married and cohabitating people on everything from car insurance, council tax, travel fares, wills, and many other costs. The difference is even more lopsided in the US, wherein incelibates are especially discriminated against in healthcare payments. Uh, broadest sense. In the broadest sense, the usage of the term encelophobia incorporates a wide range of behaviors in its truest, broadest usage. Encelophobia within the dating scene is referred to as non redomancy which means romantic rejection. non redomancy most prominently affects true cells and what the fuck is a nifocell? <laughs> There's, what are these terms? The former because I'm, this is mind fucking me. I, I, I just, I need to, I, I'm sorry. I have to, I have to, okay. There's nothing here. All right. That, that article doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Even the person that wrote it doesn't have a definition for true cell. There's an article for misandry too. God. Okay. No, that's just a very, it's a blurb. All right. Okay. I've got the psychiatry article queued up. Oh, okay. Uh, prepare your. This is a long article. This is what you wanted, chat. So if this, just buckle in. Who knows what crazy? Sh There's a lot of videos. There's a lot of videos in this article. All right, let's. I'm excited. Are you excited, chat? Chat, tell me, are you excited? Are you ready to hear about why the incel party hates psychiatry? Maybe we're gonna learn that the incel party was founded by Tom Cruise, and this is like some deep cover Scientology shit. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, 
The incel party needs to get the support of Scientology. They both hate psychiatry. Combining those parts... David Miscavige, we need your support at the incel party. Come on. Take down those fucking psychiatrists. All right, let's, let's get back to it. Uh, psychiatry from the incel party. Psychiatry is an instrument of social control for deviants who aren't, uh, who aren't in regular jail. In other words, society's sewer. If you deviate from society in any meaningful way and you do not live on your own, expect to meet a psychiatrist at some point in your life. Meta-studies, or studies of studies, have proven that antidepressants, for example, to be not clinically significant in the treatment of depression beyond placebo, but their actual effects have been proven to be quite harmful in the long and sometimes short term. Talk therapy, such as CBT, is also proven ineffective. Meeting a psychiatrist. Not all psychiatrists are horrible people. However, if you ever hint that you have suicidal or homicidal ideation, they have a legal authority to lock you up temporarily or, quote-unquote, temporarily, and you don't want that, trust us. In fact, they also need no real evidence. Courts in psychiat or psychiatric in cases are heavily biased towards parents and doctors. It is therefore helpful to record your psychiatric sessions legally if you attend them, and better yet, not attend them at all. I already, I already like our start here. Psychiatrists are fucking liars. Their medicine is from the devil. And just don't even go. Don't show up. Fuck these people. If you are 18 and over and in good health, and you think that you may be forced to see a psychiatrist because people want you on drugs, move. <laughs> move. Run. You need to run. Just drop your shit and run. Get out of your house now with food and clothing and take an Uber to a friend's house. Or a homeless tent set up. Not a homeless shelter. Those places now employ psychiatry. You may need to leave a note on social media posting that it was a voluntary decision of yours and you are not a missing person. Your former caretakers now have no legal authority to force psychiatry on you. Even if they want to or if they even if they want to lie to do so. Even being homeless is better than in the decades of mental torture that psychiatric drugs can inflict upon you. Psychiatry and incels. Most incels, when trying to describe their psychic pain about social situations, they will usually be labeled as either schizophrenic or socially anxious, depending on how much time the psychiatrist wants to spend evaluating their situation. Uh, given the treatment almost never involves improving in the area of romantic relationships, and harmful drugs are instead prescribed, which often make dating harder, your life starts spiraling downwards. Psychiatrists sometimes prescribe <clears throat> uh, SSRIs. Uh, I think those are serotonin reuptake inhibitors. I'm not 100% sure. Tin cells as ana for <laughs> I don't know, not aphrodisiacs, uh, anaphrodisiacs. Even though SSRIs are <laughs> and orgasmia, not reduced libido. I, I can't pronounce these fancy words. Psychiatrists will rarely acknowledge inceldom as its own problem which causes illness. However, this is not the main reason to avoid psychiatrists. Involuntary singledom or incel is not a cult any more than determinism is. And we don't have members. Psychiatry is harmful to everyone. Okay, uh, I gotta call you out on this one, dude. <laughs> you can't say you don't have members. When this article is on a fucking political party for incels that has open membership. <laughs> this, this is a lie. This whole paragraph is a lie. You do have members. You have members starting on May 24th of this year at incelparty.win. Uh, but my friend got better. The placebo effect is extremely powerful. Sham surgeries have in some cases beaten real surgeries in double-blind trials. Mental and physical states are profoundly influenced by placebo effect, especially those characterized by lack of hope. You and your friend may have noticed that uh, the actual clinical meaning, uh, meaningful effects of psychotropic drugs, what are usually labeled side effects, are profound and often extremely damaging. Best to just take a sugar pill, as those have been proven to work. Okay, I don't, that's not how placebos work. <laughs> they ha if they know it's a placebo, then the placebo effect really doesn't take effect. 
<laughs> just take just take a sugar pill, man. You need to run and get some sugar pills. Antidepressants fail to meet clinical significance beyond placebo in treating depression. Oh, we're getting into some serious shit here. <laughs> this guy's not fucking around. And meta studies of the effectiveness of antidepressants according to the NICE criteria. Oh, this is that's a lot of technical shit. Uh, monoamine hypothesis. The description of the cause of abnormal brain states in psychiatry are based on pseudoscientific monoamine hypothesis, which isn't even considered reputable in the top universities anymore. The brain is like a computer and electrical patterns in your brain circuitry determine mood. But neurotransmitter pathways are only a very small part of the story and do not even begin to explain the complexity of our brain circuitry. Synapses are merely the spaces between the circuits. Trying to figure out how to alter complex electrical activity in the brain, feelings, in a productive manner with neurotransmitter pathways is like trying to figure out the patterns of pipes in your city by yelling into your sink. And this is where it starts with a fuck ton of videos. I don't know who any of these people are. Uh, Irving Kirsch, a trading depression placebo effect. Uh, Robert Whitaker, scientific censorship in psychiatry. Lots of secular organizations against psych... Oh, do they have Scientology on here? Mind freedom. I bet you that's one. Anybody know what sci Scientology, what are their anti-psychiatry organizations called? Mind freedom? God, that sounds like something they would call it. I, I'm just waiting for chat to catch up. Is mind freedom one of them? I, I don't know. I, I guess that'll be a mystery for now. Influential secular critics of psychiatry from within the professional class. A lot of MDs and PhDs listed on here. Uh, NAMI. NAMI is the most well-known mental patient patient advocacy group in the United States. In reality, NAMI is a front group for drug companies receiving in oh excuse me receiving inordinate amounts of their funding from psychotropic drug companies. The group advocates for forced drugging and involuntary commitment. A prominent psychiatrist who was a member of the American Psychiatric Association once resigned from the APA, citing the group being in bed with NAMI and being critical of NAMI's support of forced drugging. NAMI was initially funded by royalties of a book by Dr. E. Fuller Torrey, the nation's leading advocate for forced psychiatric drugging. I don't know any of this shit. A BuzzFeed video about abuses, father's tale, forced drugging of his child, and then lots of, and then it just goes into videos. We got lots of, lots of videos. I, let me see what else we have here. I think, I think, like, there aren't a lot of articles on here. <laughs> oh, CBT, they were talking about earlier, uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, if you're. Oh, oh, oh I think we're back. Uh, oh, oh, okay. All right, we're back, boys. We're back, boys. Let me, um, oh, where, where would I go for this? So, chat knows that, uh, I, I hit F5. Gotta hit F5, give Chad a chance to catch up. I we dug too deep. <laughs> we dug too deep. And now the psychiatrists are coming for us. You see what happens, chat? You see what happens when you, you talk about psychiatry? They take your internet down. Not gonna scare me. I'm going out today and joining Scientology. I'm gonna stop you motherfuckers. Alright, no more forced drugging from NAMI. It's not going to happen. David Miscavige is my boy. And we're rough riding on you motherfuckers and there ain't a thing you can do about it. Incel party, rise up. Okay. Yeah, I, I was saying before it disconnected. A, a bit off the beaten path. I did not, I missed that. I didn't know that there was an incel party and that it had a website and that's glorious. Again, if you'd like to join the incel party... Why does that exist? If you'd like to join the incel party and, uh, I guess, edit their wiki to, you know, give them great new political ideas, that's incelparty.win. Uh, best of luck. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Enjoy yourself on that one. Holy shit. Okay. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, so we're on the incel wiki. We'll go back to the incel wiki. Uh, let's see what we got here. I've never really looked around here. I don't. I don't know what we're looking at. Uh, okay, so we got a bunch of shit here. Brought uh, this. Uh, I hope it's. It, it looks like it might be a little bit too serious. I don't know. 
Uh, should we go to, you know, glossary? Let's learn some terms. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a good choice. Wow. Lots of terms. We're going to learn some. Welcome to the Incel Dictionary. Let's learn some fucking terms, guys. Uh, mogged. Suffix. Indicating being dominated by another person. The stem word denotes the feature that one's being dominated by. Okay. So if you're height mogged, you're being dominated by another person's height. <laughs> Poor Destiny is constantly height mogged. Oh, what is wrist mogged? Being dominated by a man with a thicker wrist. Is, <laughs> how, how does that happen? Do you just compare sizes? Uh, skull mogged, being dominated by a man with a better shaped or bigger skull. Akubusamogged. Being dominated by a man of Chris Abasaki like prowess. Awooga, indeed. Well, it's good to... Oh, the blue pill, red pill, we know these. Black pill, uh, purple pill. Stance of being neutral on the fence with regard to re or gender relations. I.e., not on the manosphere side, nor the feminist side. Oh, let's see. Uh, adiopoophilia. Attraction to fat people. Throw it in there, why not? AFBP alpha fucks beta bucks. <laughs> refers to women who get fucked by alphas and settle down with a beta. Originates from a concept in evolutionary psychology known as strategic pluralism. It rolls off the tongue, it really does. Alpha fucks beta bucks. Uh, a Walt, all women are like that. Uh, it's, I guess that's a good one to go. Oh, Aspie. An Aspie is somebody with Asperger syndrome. Good to know, good to know. Uh, let's say uh, Boyo. A slang word for a friend or mate? Albino? Why is albino in here? What, <laughs> what term originating from the user Tom Cruise? I told you his ass was here. It is a disparaging remark used towards slut hate. Users of Eastern... <laughs> what? A disparaging, disparaging remark used to slut hate users of European descent. <laughs> it's, <laughs> look, it's very specific. Uh, babe bucks, fem cell version of beta bucks, but with less attached. A beta female, when a man takes advantage of her, she has chosen to be his significant other because she earns a decent wage to finance his lifestyle, etc. Cock carousel is exclusive to incels, so the last part of the beta bucks does not apply. Bald theory, a concept originating from the user Tom Cruise really gets around. He argues that you can forever be 8 plus if you do not look good bald. Uh, barebacking, sex without condoms. Don't know why they'd be talking about that here since they've never had sex. Oh, B BBC, a big black cock. Hopefully that was blurred out. Often used to address blacks on the forum. The topic of, you know what? <laughs> I gotta, we're pulling that article up. Hopefully it's blurred out. Please, okay, it is blurred out. <laughs> Normies hate him. <laughs> it's a theory. All right. You know, let's fuck it. Let's hear about the BBC theory. Are you ready, chat? It's time to learn about those big black dicks. All right, the BBC theory, or big black cock theory, claims black males have an advantage over other races of men in seducing women because black men have BBCs, big black cocks. And dick mog, remember, mog is holding it over somebody. So if you're dick mogging somebody, you're slapping them in the face with your cock. Uh, dick mog all other races. According to the BBC theory, women, especially white women, have an uncontrollable craving for black cock as they are often eight inches bone pressed. <laughs> what does this mean? Bone pressed is an adjective used in the encelosphere that pertains to a penis measured while pressing the ruler deeply against the pubic bone. This is often done by dick cells to make themselves feel more confident through the ability to claim an extra half an inch. It is also stated that black men are desired for their superior, greater athleticism, generally more masculine facial appearance, and reputation for low inhibition behavior, known as the Just Be Black Theory, the JBB, as this doesn't require a large penis. Oh, we've got, they have an argument back and forth. Arguments in support and against of the BBC theory. Support. Whereas white manlets are usually doomed to and seldom, BBC manlets often get attractive women.
bald white men are almost, without exception, incels, whereas bald black men often slay. Blacks are more en or extroverted than whites, making women more comfortable around them. BBCs are larger than white cocks and are therefore more pleasurable to women. And then the against portion. Most black men don't have BBCs according to, to statistics. However, there are studies demonstrating a small increase in the mean penis size compared to other races. A small difference in the mean of a group leads to greater extremes at the tail end of the standard, or standard distribution. And then finally, white women aren't very fond of black guys regarding or regardless of their schlongs. <laughs> a U.S. government study on black dicks, apparently. According to a U.S. government study, sickle cell. Oh, it's about sickle cell. I thought there was an actual U.S. government study on black cocks. I was going to say, how did they sneak that one past the funding? All right, let's, <laughs> let's go. Black Ops 2 Cell, an incel male who is recognized by incel communities. God, there's so many. Oh, there's Bone Press. We just read about that one. Uh, Canthal Tilt, the angle of... Okay, this is... Uh, this is... <laughs> there's so much. What is Chad Light? A moderately attractive male, typically white, derived from Chad plus Ite, with a PSL rating of 7. What the fuck is PSL? PSL is an acronym used widely in the Encelosphere for three consecutive forums that overlapped in user base and prominent forum members. Uh, pickup Artist Hate, Slut Hate, and Lookism.net. Okay. I guess that's just a... It's an end term. Okay, there's, there's a lot... God, there's a... This could be a video in and of itself. I'll be honest with you. The amount of fucking vocabulary they have on this website is stunning. They sure like talking about black dick. <laughs> One of those ones they really like to just bring up uh, repeatedly. Got to talk about that black cock. Oh, chat. What a magical journey. See, this has been a fun morning. And we started off a little dark with a chick getting her head cut off. And then, you know, a lonely guy hanging... We, okay, we, it was dark. I'll grant you. It really was. Chick gets her head cut off. Dude tries to kill himself. Another dude successfully kills himself. But then we got into the fun stuff. <laughs> you know, a little dawn after the darkness. You gotta get through those tough times to have a bit of a giggle. And now we're talking about... Apparently, incels love to talk about black cock. Lots of black dick on this thing. Just all over the fucking place. Oh, what was the... I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I had... I had what was the other thing I was going to do? I, you know, I suppose we can look back in on the Bianca hashtag and see if there's any update on that fucking story. Let me, let me go take a quick looky-loo here. Uh, somebody on Twitter, what happened to your stream? It should be back up. Uh, whatever reason, occasionally it just it drops out. Usually after about an hour. Now that could just be because I'm not partnered. I'm not like uh, an associate or any of the leveled tiers. Maybe they just cut you off in an hour when you're the new guy. I don't know. But it, it picked back on, so we're fine. We're good. Uh, I'm looking for any more information about this chick. Uh, Bianca Devins. Yeah, yeah, uh, people posting that. Uh, let's see. Uh, uteral bacon? Uh, yep, no, we're not gonna. Alright, I, I, I can't confirm this or not, but somebody on Twitter is saying, <laughs> somebody on Twitter is saying the guy that, uh, killed her allegedly bragged on R9K over losing his virginity to her corpse. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, given the severity of the damage he did to her and the amount of rage that was probably built up, I could picture this sick fuck doing something like that. Uh, if you can find a screen cap of him bragging about fucking her corpse after killing her, apparently it's out there. And apparently it was posted on R9K. I don't know when. Sometime over the last 18 hours, whenever this happened. Oh, let me see if I can find this. Uh, yikes, indeed. Yikes, indeed. Got really dark again. We were having... We're enjoying ourselves, too, there. And then suddenly got very dark. It's very sad. God, Jesus. What the fuck? 
I don't I don't get it. I I just I don't get it. I don't get it was such a violent crime. And you know people are making it sound like from the information that's getting posted they didn't really know each other. So I, he's just some obsessed nutcase that decided he's going to go kill some innocent chick for no fucking reason or he had he had some fixation on her and he decided he's going to chop her fucking head off. Um I mean I get it. People are posting like oh she said this and uh, she fucked a bunch of guys, whatever. Uh, I, I, you know, prepare yourself, I think, for probably a month's worth of really focused incel articles. Like, you know how every time something like this happens, <clears throat> uh, they want to push, they want to push a bunch of articles talking about how incels are just the devil. And uh, they, they want to round them up and put them into little camps. So if this keeps catching, you know, if this keeps catching fire and gaining and gaining and gaining, I wouldn't be surprised. I, yeah, it said 16,000 tweets. I, the hashtag's still there. It's trending in the U.S. It's one of the top ones. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I, I, I can't find the post, allegedly, of where he said this. Uh, maybe it's out there. Who, who fucking knows? Just a lot of dark shit. A lot of dark shit, chat. Okay. <laughs> just, I say, oh, this is some dark shit. I look over at chat, nothing but dancing puddings. Anime girls dancing and dancing puddings. Chat does not give a fuck. That's, chat just rolls with it. Fuck it. Dancing pudding time. Who cares? People hanging themselves. People getting their heads chopped off. Give me a dancing pudding. No fucks given. Throw a swastika out, too. Nobody cares. Uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Where do we go from there? Like, I can't... What What? What do I go to after somebody says, allegedly, the guy fucked the corpse? Like, there's... There, there's nowhere to go from that. That kind of... <laughs> that's like the ending point. What was it Costanza said? Leave on, leave on a high note? What, oh, how do how are you going to top that? Like, how much crazier could this shit get? Um, again, the images are out there. Be warned, they are graphic. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I'm guessing news stories are going to come out with this guy. And we'll hear his... Maybe he's got a manifesto. Oh, my God. I bet you he's one of those fucks, isn't he? I bet you this is the kind of motherfucker that, it, like, it is LARPing fantasy bullshit. Thought he was really going to go through with a murder-suicide. So he wrote some fucking edgy shit in a manifesto and now he's going to have to sit down across from a police officer as the cop reads it back to him it's going to be one of those things so we'll probably get an interrogation tape I think he's an adult we'll probably get an interrogation tape from this piece of shit um, probably in the next week or two and we'll get to hear his manifesto you know his reasoning for why he did this uh, again people are alleging oh he said this he said that I don't know I've only seen a few posts from him uh, people put them up on Twitter and then, you know, a few on a, a couple of different image boards, couple or a couple of different boards. Uh, but anything beyond that, I don't know. So I, I put money on it that he wrote a note or he wrote a manifesto about why he did it. And that'll come out and uh, we'll get police interrogation tapes. We'll follow this. Yeah, I'm going to follow the Epstein case as that goes along. I'll keep an eye on this to see what this weird little fucker, like what his rationalization for doing what he did was. I have no idea what it is yet. All I can tell you is what happened. Uh, so she's dead. He killed her. Uh, apparently bragged and showed off to her friends about it. Tried to kill himself. Failed at that and got arrested. And that's kind of where we are today. Uh, aside from that, we looked at the incel party. We looked at the incel wiki. Expect a ton of incel, or I'm sorry, anti-incel. Or is, or is the incel party called it incelophobia? Uh, articles to hit probably in the next week as uh, the story starts to circulate. Good stuff. Well, you want to be in good spirits. You want to be jovial about things. Have a nice little chuckle. Have a good little laugh. If you're going to go watch the Joker movie, got to gotta put on a happy face. Got to be in a good mood for what's coming up. You know, a lot of people really psyched to see the movie. Well, everybody except law enforcement, apparently the military... Uh, where the fuck is Oh, here we go. Joker spurs security precautions from the U.S. Army and the Los Angeles police. 
the fuck is this? Or how about this headline? U.S. Army. The U.S. Army warns of possible incel shootings at the Joker film screenings. When entering theaters, identify two escape routes, remain aware of your surroundings, and remember the phrase, run, hide, and fight. I, <laughs> I'm not making these up. These are real articles about a fucking movie. The U.S. Army telling you how to flee a fucking movie theater in case people start, and start, what, rising up? Oh boy, it's coming. You know that Joker fella, I saw him on the news recently, telling people he's going to say the N-word. Very scared, we're all very worried about it. <laughs> we don't know how to handle it. He's been threatening to do it for a while now. Very, very fucking concerning. And we all know the effect that this movie has on people. Why, look at this young gentleman. Straight-A student, went to see the Joker movie. Now look at him. I have two personalities. Bottom text and rise up. Oh, the incels. The incels, they are too influenced by it. Even normal people. I'm not talking about the guy with piss jugs in their basement. The guys that like uh, video games. The involuntary celibates. Even uh, functional people in society. Once they see that Joker movie, things start to change. Their personality becomes warped. I'm so fucking sick of these whores ruining our video games. I remember once when my daughter said she loved Zelda. I hit her. She deserved it. Go cook cook or clean or something. Video games aren't for you, gamer girl. Oh, I think we all remember Dr. Jordan Peterson. Saw the Joker movie. Now he wants gamer girls to go home and he's addicted to pills. That was just one screening. He didn't even stick around for the whole movie. He saw 25 minutes of it. And now look at him. All hopped up on goof pills. <laughs> goof balls. <laughs> He's high out of his mind. Talking about cleaning penises and slaying dragons. Running around in a weird looking suit. Smacking women that play Zelda. I don't know what happened to him. He rose the fuck up. He bottom texted the shit out of society. Gotta be careful. Gotta have a plan when you go to the movie theater. Will they even let you in? If you go up and ask Robert for one ticket to see the movie, will you be allowed into the theater? I don't think so. You're going to be turned away. We can't let one straight white male watch this movie. People are going to fucking die. Have you not seen what the U.S. military has said about what's coming up? I don't know what's going to kill more people. The Joker movie or the Cuck movie? Oh, are you Are you excited? The Joker will teach you to rise up and then the cuck movie will teach you how to load a sawed-off shotgun and go on a killing spree. Chat, are you familiar with the cuck movie? Are you are you excited for it? Would you like to watch the trailer for cinema history? Would you like to see the, um, I don't know, what are we going to call it? The Citizen Kane of this modern age? <laughs> let, me, let me pull the trailer up here. Oh, there it is. I'm, I'm so excited for the cuck movie. It really speaks to my generation. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, people want to see the cuck movie. I don't blame you. I mean, we know the Joker's going to be some badass shit. People are going to get killed from it. But the cuck movie, that's going to really have the body count behind it. So let me, uh, let's see here. Let's just pull that up. Let's watch the cuck movie trailer together. Oh, I'm excited. I hope you are. The greatest threat to our nation is this false sense of diversity. That is the greatest fallacy of the past century. Today was a pretty rough day for me. I lost a lot of money, and I lost a car, and I lost a job. But everywhere I go, there's illegals, and they're running the show. Our country, it's shifting, not just in terms of politics or morality, but culturally. You can't be proud to be white and male anymore. It's not politically correct. We sometimes record it. All you gotta do is follow the script. Can you do that, Ronnie? Yeah, Ronnie, can you do that? Oh, look at this little white nationalist. Ronnie, I'm gonna fuck this woman in front of you and you're gonna put a smile on your face, cuck. <laughs> this, the movie, in case maybe you're unfamiliar, uh, the movie 
is about one of those terrible neo-Nazi white nationalists uh, that gets into cuckoldry porn, and then I assume, as we'll find out as the trailer progresses, goes on a killing spree because he had to sit there and watch another man's balls bounce back and forth on some chick. Let's find out. Can you follow the script? I can't be anything I need to be! The greatest threat to our nation is the fragmentation of our people. Because they have access to weapons, guns, knives, anything. 45. Pretty, isn't it? Hell yeah. When the fire comes, you're gonna burn. They need you. Just another cock. Yeah, Ronnie, are you ready to take the red pill and watch women get fucked in front of you for money on camera? <laughs> based and red pilled. Oh, so based. Oh, yeah, Ronnie. Smile for the camera. How many people do you think Rob Lambert is going to be responsible for, for sending to an early grave? Oh, that's some harsh stuff there. Oh, the red pill. So based and so red-pilled. I just can't handle it. There's so much cinema coming out. There's so much amazing cinema coming out. From the Joker rising the fuck up. To good old Ronnie here. The cuck. Going on a killing spree. Mama can't breathe so good, so I watch women get fucked in front of me. And I hate them immigrants. Better go kill some people. There, I saved you two hours in the cinema. And sum that plot up for you nice and good. October 4th in theaters. What theater? <laughs> I, I'm almost tempted to go watch this in theaters. And of course, video on demand. It's going to be tough. What do I choose? Do I watch The Joker or Cuck? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one to go with. Which one's going to help me rise up the most? All right. You know, us incels. All right. It's our time. Those fucking, uh, those Chads and those Stacys and shit. They're going to get what's coming to them. Oh, you know what? Actually. I forgot about one thing. I had this bookmarked. And I have it time-coded. Because we need to see the effect that this terrible thing has on people. Oh, my God. All the incels rising up. Well, there was an incel that ri er, rose up. Sorry, Chad. Rose up. To teach motherfuckers a lesson. And uh, luckily, his police interrogation up on YouTube. Talking about the deadly incel van attack driver... Alec Minnison. Minnesinian? Minnesinian. Mini assassin. That's what I'm going to call him. Alec the mini assassin. Incel killer. Van attack driver. Now, I know. Let me see. Let me pull up the time codes here. Oh, they were in there. And now and now they've disappeared on me. Ah, here we go. Uh, if you'd like to see. <laughs> if you'd like to see why the U.S. military is scared, apparently, of the Joker movie. Uh, we can watch this uh, tape. It's it's two hours long. We're not going to watch the whole thing. Luckily, somebody was nice to timestamp it for us. Uh, where they talk about how they want to teach Chad and Stacy a fucking lesson. And how incels need to rise the fuck up and teach these bitches. Because, <laughs> again, as we learned from... Where is it? Where is that fucking picture? All right. I got two personalities here. All right. Alec Mini Assassin. He was bottom text for the most of his life. But he had enough of Veronica's shit, so he rose the fuck up. Got in that minivan and <laughs> went and taught some motherfuckers a lesson. All right. Yeah, I think the good stuff starts at... Oh, my God, there's a lot of good stuff. All right, here we go. Let's let's watch some of it, and then we'll, we'll move on to some other things. But let's watch the rising up as it happens, chat. Oh, I'm excited. Get ready to bottom text the shit out, everybody. This is the police interview again of the deadly incel van attack driver, Alec Mini Assassin. No. No, no, no difficulties with girls at all? No. No, not at all. How do you feel about uh, girls in general? I, I'm attracted to them. Oh, you are? Okay, okay. So you're heterosexual? Yes. Would it be fair to say that? Okay, that's, that's important. Always love a good police interrogation where the cop starts off with, Excuse me, sir. Before we get to the violent act you've committed, I just need to know, are you a fag? Like, do you want to suck my dick right now, bro? You're giving me this weird look, and I don't know if you're like, if you're feeling me up here or something. I've got a wife, but are you gay? 
good to know you're not gay. You're you're a crazy murderer, but I'm glad to know you don't want to suck my dick. Um, have you ever had a relationship with a with a, a female? I don't wish to answer that. Okay, all right. Um, in terms of females, I mean females and women, because you're 25, you're a young man, right? We'll call them women. Um, in terms of your feelings towards women in general. Uh, how would you describe that? I would say that sometimes I am a bit upset that they choose to uh, date uh, obnoxious men instead of uh, uh, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, this is going to be gold, you can already tell. I am um, a little upset, um, and I've expressed this on my Reddit account a few times, that uh, these bitches and whores don't like gentlemen such as myself. I offer milady my jacket to walk across puddles, and instead she wants to jump on Tyrone's dick. Motherfucking whores have to die. So I, 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 um, I have a, um, well, I got involved in this situation, I'll talk about it later, but um, I, I um, so my understanding is um, you, you, you have some problems with women who date obnoxious men. Right. Yes. And these guys, I'm thinking you're, you're talking about the fellows who are loud, uh, uh, arrogant, um, uh, generally uh, uh, outgoing and popular with girls. Yes. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Um, and you have a problem with the women that date these fellows? Yes. Why is it that you have a problem with, with the women? Because I feel that uh, it's illogical to be... Uh, dating such men when they could be dating a gentleman instead. Right. I, if you ever watch the police interrogation, I really hope, oh my god, what is that guy's name? There's a dude that makes criminal videos on YouTube. It's some of the best shit ever. And YouTube started fucking with his channel. Uh, I think it's Jim Does Psychology or something like that, where he goes through police interrogations. This is, he's, he's already starting out with the fucking fedora tipping shit. There's <laughs> not a hint of irony. I mean, he is in a police station after a deadly van attack. <laughs> He's upset the Stacys aren't fucking gentlemen, such as himself. Right, right, right. That makes sense. I mean, uh, and I've seen that because I've grown up. And I'll tell you one of the issues that I had as a kid growing up, because I was, um, this is going to say, you might not believe me, but believe, I, I, was, I wasn't a very big kid growing up. I was actually very, very small. Uh, and it took me a long time to, 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 to grow. And uh, so as a result, uh, the I, you know I, I was kind of ostracized. You know what I mean by ostracized? I was kind of cast aside. Cast aside, yeah, yeah. And uh, or uh, I left out. Like I wouldn't get picked for teams, you know, or anything like that. You know, I was always kind of the last guy. Yeah, you ever see those uh, those uh, you know those television shows where you know all the kids are lined up and they're getting picked for you know the teams and there's always one guy left out at the end. Yeah. That that was me. I was that was I was that guy. And uh, and and I never. I was never uh, very popular with uh, women. I, I, I'm almost curious, is the police detective rising up right now? <laughs> Has he been inspired by the incel attacker? Let me tell you something, buddy. I know about those bitches and whores, too. Always pick me last for volleyball. We need to bottom text the shit out of this police station. Women, girls in, in, in school. And, uh, and that kind of actually went on through uh, the early part of my, my, my adulthood. Until I started, you know, getting taller and uh, mature, right? But uh, I understand exactly what you meant because I was, as a kid growing up, I was, um, you know. Oh yeah, I saw it in chat. Uh, the guy's channel I was talking about, Jim Can't Swim. That's the name of it. Fantastic videos. God, I hope he does this. I mean, I was like any other kid, any other young man, right? You would look at uh, uh, attractive girls. And I knew I was probably just as smart, if not smarter, than some of the clowns they were dating. But because, for whatever reason, I didn't have what it took, they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't date me. Because I think because I was short, they wouldn't date me, and they'd end up dating, you know, the tall jocks and the other, you know, the good-looking fellows. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. And then, yeah. Then you kind of resent these girls, right? Yeah. Because, you know, that's kind of a superficial way of. Uh, deciding, you know, who it is because you're height go. is an unfair. You can't control your height. Right. Exactly. Right. right. Fucking manlets. 
<laughs> this fucking manlet. Oh, these bitches. They're always dogging on me for being five foot four. Fucking whores. I wear my stilts out in public and all they do is giggle. They call me the littlest giraffe. They're taunting me. They're taunting me because I'm not tall enough. I need to use a stepping stool to reach a doorknob. I wonder if Destiny can sympathize with this motherfucker. Oh, the life of a little guy. Right, 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 right. What other things can't you control? You can't control uh, your looks either. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Although you're not a bad looking guy. Thank you. No, you are. You're a good looking guy. You keep yourself well. And you're, good, you're fit. You know, you're tall. Yeah. Um, what other things can you control? I'm unaware. I'm, I'm not aware of anything else you can't control. Uh, what about um, like phys physical disabilities, right? Obviously, if you were blind or, you know. Unfortunately, you, you can't control that. Yeah, you can't control that. That's what I mean. So these are things you can't control or. Let me cue it up. Uh, there's. I want to get into the part where he starts talking about literally rising up. Uh, one second, chat. <laughs> one second. As he gets into this. Okay, I think I found Ooh, it. Uh, feel I, I think I found it. Here we go. Let's rise up with our incel, incel prisoner. The same way, but I know they are... I would consider them uh, too cowardly to uh, act on their anger. Oh, okay. And so on the internet, what, where, where, what are you talking about in terms of... Uh, specifically, uh, certain boards on uh, 4chan. Oh, okay, 4chan. I'm familiar with 4chan. So that's... Uh... Of course, the fucking glow-in-the-dark is familiar with 4chan. He's not a big guy. He's not a big guy, and he's familiar with 4chan. I understand the, the uh, lingo, Alec, mini-assassin. I wrote it. <laughs> when you're posting on R9K, Alec, that's me you're talking to. Such as R9K and uh, Paul. Okay, so describe 4chan to me. What is what 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 is 4chan specifically? It's an image board uh, right. where uh, people uh, can anonymously make any post they want. Mm -hmm. uh, the the three boards that I have uh, uh, frequented are uh, B, which is the random board. Okay. Yeah. P O L or Poll right. stands for politically uh, incorrect. Okay. And uh, R nine K which uh, is basically means R9000. It's, uh, in effect, they're saying we're all robots, anyone who uh, messages on that uh, board. Okay, so those are the three boards that you, 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 you go to? Yes. To, to uh, is it fair to say you chat? Yes. You chat, so you chat with other similar-minded people? Yes. Right, so four... <laughs> Fucking Polak's blown the fuck out. You've got a, a manlet version with rage. Saying that he chats with fellow gentlemen on poll. Oh, that's going to be a hard one to walk off. Oh, how many Reddit jokes can you make to make the taste of that disappear? 4chan is a website. And within 4chan, there are these messaging boards. Yes. And they're individual boards specific to like-minded people. Yes. And uh, how many boards would there be in total on 4chan? There are about 50 different boards on 4chan, but, uh, but most of them are actually... Uh, Unrelated to the uh, to B or nine keen or or pool, therefore I do, don't bother going on them. Right, right. Because they, because uh, in fact, if you tr if I tried to talk about the topics that I was talking about on those other boards, my posts would get deleted. Oh, okay, all right. So there's moderators. Yes. Uh, who, who monitor the, the conversations and they you know they they kind of police the the conversations and if you're not part of the group conversation, they they, they kick you out. Yes. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. So, when did you first start going on the 4chan? Since uh, 2014. Oh, okay. All right. And how did you learn about 4chan? Uh, I was informed about it uh, by a friend at college. Oh, okay. All right. And did, was he on it as well? Or? Yes. Okay. What's his name? I don't wish to okay. answer. Okay. I understand. But nevertheless, it's a, it's a friend. Uh, his name was Matt Jarbo. And he told me these gamer girls needed to learn a fucking lesson for not taking us gentlemen seriously. He was on 4chan. Was he in the same? Uh, was he in the same uh, chat rooms? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. And so, you, would you have conversation with him in those chat rooms? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. And so, how many other people would be in the in these in these three particular chat rooms you talk about? 
it doesn't actually tell you how many are in. Okay. I want to find... He goes into Chad's and Stacy's. That's the meat and potatoes here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, obnoxious. Okay, here we go. I think I think we found it, Chad. Let's watch a little bit. I just want you to see the effects of what happens when you watch that goddamn Joker movie. All right, this is... Again, remember, have an exit strategy planned when you go to see the Joker. Because uh, this is the guy sitting in the theater with you. He's going to be sitting right next to you in his little fedora talking about how he's a 4chan expert <laughs> and how Chad's and Stacy's have it coming. <clears throat> what would your political views be in the alt-right uh, uh, message board? I actually don't have any uh, political views. I only uh, the only reason I have talked with them was just because I enjoyed their uh, style of uh, conversation. Okay. And what was the style of conversation? Uh, it was very uh, blunt and honest. So when what would it be? What would it typically focus around, or what would the what would the, tip, the typical conversations contain? Uh, red pill truths about uh, why uh, women uh, choose to. A date uh, obnoxious men. Date the Chads. Yeah. The Chads of this world. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the Stacys going for the Chads. Exactly. The Stacys are the, yeah, the you know the, the the dizzy. Do you notice? Am I the only one noticing that the cop is the one giving him the answers? This is the most glow in the dark shit. This cop is like, oh yeah, I'm familiar with 4chan. Tell me what boards you browse. Oh yeah, those fucking sta or uh, Stacys and Chads. Am I right, bro? Oh, I bet you're pissed off about being a short guy, huh, Manlet? <laughs> this guy, this guy is fucking with him. Dumb girls dating the the goofy, you know, jocks. Yeah. Right.